DirtGerotic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. Mm. You're back. You're back. The band is back together. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Back at a regular time. Streaming over Ryan Kennel like we meant to do the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Ryan Kennel. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be talking about him tonight. Well, Nazis, anyway. Oh, I thought you were talking about aliens. Hey! Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Put that arm down. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Careful there. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Uh, no, hey. Uh, so you know what guys <laughs> i was just talking to you about this but since this is a show we're going to talk about it with everybody um Good. agent aliens has been on since january i had no freaking idea because wow. i haven't subscribed to cable since 2017 but like cable, yeah they're on episode eight i know they're on episode what? eight but what um, season 37 20. okay it's only been out <laughs> how long has it been going for like 16 it's only been years out or for 15 years but if you go over their seasons okay. like season 14 is freaking hilarious it's got 22 episodes and then you go to season <laughs> how? how's that possible and you, you go to season like 16 17 18 they all happened in the same year <laughs> so they all wow. were 2020 uh mm. so yeah yeah Fit, been around for 15 years up to season 20 they got eight episodes in they're starting to do top tens like they've done it in the past but they're straight up okay. that's, they're pulling that from YouTube. Why mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. True. But yeah, they're eight episodes in. I'm like, I had no idea because it's not on Hulu. It's not on anything. You have to um, have history plus or whatever, and you have to have cable to see it. And I'm like, no, I, no. I you know, I guess I could buy it on Amazon Prime, which I'll do. I'll get caught up. But uh, yeah, because I'm more concerned about Skinwalker Ranch, which premieres in uh, about a month. Dude, didn't they uh, yes. last season? Dragon, my boy. I can't wait for, for Travis that. Travis Taylor. Travis it's, Taylor. It's, 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 better, it's better than Oak Island. I was unfair in the comparisons at the beginning. I I, it, I think it was fair to compare it, but as it went on, they actually started doing stuff that I was like, all right, all right. They're really trying. They're, they're starting to show some stuff. Whereas well, Oak they're Island, moving they're towards like, the, I found a, a piece of wood. Yeah. Just yeah. Are we going to dig a hole? We're not going to dig a hole. We're going to dig a hole. <laughs> we can't dig. But we can now. Let's dig. Not anywhere near the Mesa. But now they're digging under the Mesa. That's where we I'm, need to dig. I'm like, they need to start, finally. The rockets are getting bigger. They need to just straight up bomb the Mesa. Yeah. So they need to rockets, aim the rockets, rockets at the Mesa. Yeah. Like at the Mesa. Oh, yes. they're digging. Oh, I don't know. But at least there's like is what I, hear. I just finished uh, rewatching season four, and that yeah, there's a other than it being spread out, there's a bunch of U U A UFO stuff in it. Like that light mm. coming out of the mesa was weird. Yeah, so like there's and and that thing appearing it's in true. the field, that little orb appearing in the field out of nowhere, that was weird too. So yeah, uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but today we're going to talk about something extremely weird that I like. Uh, and it's Antarctica, Antarctica, the mystery, the mysterious continent, the frozen continent that either has UFO bases, Nazi UFO bases, or just UFO bases, or used to be Atlantis. Uh, there's, there's so many in. different there's theories. A lot. There's yeah. a lot. There was a recent Joe Rogan interview with a guy who like did some skydiving there, and he talked about the crevasses, the crevices that just open up. Like you can't. It's they, they have a you know they land planes on the ice and everything right. but they apparently they have to like you know because they pack everything up for the winter because you can't live there in the winter there's 200 mile an hour winds and it gets you know it's 100 below zero whatever 
Uh, Insane. But yeah, the ice cracks. So you'll be walking along and, then and just. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So they have to mark those. And uh, yeah, it's a, kind of a dangerous place. Uh, three miles deep, the ice is in certain places. The hardcore uh, place, man. That's hardcore crazy. place, but possible. That's pain. wild. Three miles. Three effing miles. Ice. That's that's great. Imagine falling down a crack three miles. Like you'd fall for a while. You'd have some time to think about it. Oh, you would. Scary. You're not bouncing oh, off the walls. God. If you're not bouncing boo, off the walls boo, yeah. boo, boo, for three miles, I mean, <laughs> hopefully you'd snap. Oh, oh Jesus right Christ, help me. Oh, Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the way down. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I am excited to talk about that. Uh, hello, Quarter Black. What's up? Hey, man, I'm ready to talk about it. It's a very mysterious place. Uh, I, I listened to uh, the first portion of the David Hatcher Childress seminar on it. And it was all. It went into the whole World War II aspect of the of Germans uh, making a new base up there, it was super secret. And then the UK made a base up there that was also super secret. Didn't even tell the American side or anybody. They made their own base. Uh, There's a bunch of interesting stuff about oil and how it was needed and why they decided to go for these secret bases and what well, they may have found there. It's a problem so, we're still still dealing with still, today. Is Germany doesn't have its own resources like gas yeah. or oil it has to get it from other places he even brought uh, up the pipeline that got canceled and possibly blown up yeah oh yeah oh it did oh yeah oh, oh it, it, it was biden it oh. got blown up by us Come why on. oh yeah. the question yeah. why Oh, we know why. I mean, I could, I, I know why. I could tell you why, but it's pretty obvious. I mean, can it, you tell you know, why on the on the internet though? Charisma. <laughs> well, did you see my Sorry. private? Sorry, gas no, company. No. Bless you, in Ukraine. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, I'm maybe, allergic. I'm allergic maybe to soon. It. Maybe soon. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, I want to know more about that, but I, I yeah, I heard that. Yeah, but we can we can continue. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 this, this was great. Did you see? Did you see the part of uh, the David Hatcher Childress? And you know what? We'll, I'll link it in the community section when the show's over, so you guys can see it. Uh, he breaks out like the models, all the models of the German UFOs that were made by the toy <laughs> companies. What? Yeah, he, he in, in this I interview or this pull up speech that he was doing that you posted. Yeah, yeah, he's got it sitting behind him. <laughs> he's so happy. Yeah, he's got a couple of models of like the German yeah. UFOs. One of them's made in Texas. One of them's made, uh, I forgot what the company was, Paragon or something like that. But yeah, yeah, there's German UFO models. I remember seeing those. But it's of the the. It, it's great how that he he really builds up why the Germans needed <laughs> an alternate showing, form so, of propulsion. Because there's yeah, so it, many of them. Yeah, electric. He he went into and actually listened With to that the part, pyramids. I, I wasn't and... able to listen to the whole thing. Well, that was a different video, but he was talking about how in here he talks the, about it. The not oh okay, I missed that part because well, I just kind of skipped around. Um, but he was saying how they were not rockets; they didn't have propulsion like we know today. They were made with electricity, and I'm like, man, Tesla was like trying to harness the Tulare current and the like an advanced civilization living on this planet would take advantage of that uh, for those who don't know the telaric current is an electrical wave that the sun's energy pushes around the planet every single day it basically is ahead of the light when the light hits from the sun right ahead of that there's this current of electricity that just runs around the planet it's called the telaric current and tesla figured out how to harness it and they he thought that that's what the pyramids were that they harnessed this telaric current sent it into into the air that you could just use and i mean tesla figured that out but it wouldn't surprise me if these ships I, you know you just fly and every time the telaric current passes it just recharges your battery that sounds awfully good it's to me not, it's not the telaric current i don't think anyway but in skinwalker ranch they did those tests where they had the tesla coils out and they mm -hmm. were charging the ground and they just stuck the light bulbs in the ground and the light bulbs lit up oh <gasps> cool yep yeah flowing yeah. on and beneath the surface of the earth that's why you can Ooh. stick into the ground and, and then, the power. Antarctica in the uh, ancient alien special, Michio Kaku talks about the cosmic rays that are emanating from the Earth, basically going through the Earth. That would be my guess. But 
usually comic cosmic rays are bombarding the earth that's what i was going to say but in 2018 they... they detected cosmic rays coming from antarctica oh yeah i yeah. didn't hear more about that there, there was like a, a couple one-liners mentioning that but nothing else and I, I really want to know more about that. Like, where did that? What? Why? How? Do you measure how <laughs> like what? They they measured. Like, they, yeah, it's like neutrinos that were coming from there. Yeah, like the ones they, that just are always going through the Earth all the time. We're getting hit by them right now. It doesn't the matter inner where sun. You are from yes, the, sun. the inner sun. That's right, chat. Oh, it's like <laughs> yes. Game of Thrones. It's on the inside. Dun, of the dun, 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 dun. It's like hmm. Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, I wanted to know more. Oh, Maybe it's geez. coming from the crystals. The crystal Maybe. city. Crystal city. Because there's, according mm -hmm. to some, there's a crystal city down there. Is that somebody you you, you live stream with on a Monday? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in mud Prob floods. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, probably. Uh, yeah. Andreas, I love you. <laughs> oh, What's man. up, Adam Krigler? How you doing, buddy? It's good to be back been beautiful outside I've, i went for a bike ride today and found a, more abandoned places uh more abandoned houses that are just like i i just i want to film horror movies every time I, I find this i found an old root cellar on the side of this i don't want to say mountain because it's I, i'm not in a mountainy area but it was definitely abandoned long ago it has to be at least 80 to 100 years old but it's it's right overlooking this river and it's such a beautiful spot. I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to like Thanks. turn this into a forest hideaway. <laughs> like this is, this is dope. Uh, it's it's, start of a it was the wood boogers home. <laughs> I definitely want to make a scary movie. Like I could easily, you know, make this, I don't know, forest den yeah. of something. I don't know. Well, I'll have Garrett come out and, and play the, the Wookiee or play the, the wood booger. I'm, I'm a small. You can man, have Mark you know? and he I'm can like get a small uh, monster. His leg chopped off. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, oh my leg. My leg. <laughs> that sounds great. I I'd love that. There we go. <laughs> Schedule. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good. Oh, this is another thing that in this David Hatcher Childress speech, whatever he was he was talking near the end, he was talking about the UFOs a lot, and he mentions like here are many places that have images that were taken of the exact ufo that they've been finding in antarctica and it's the specific one it looks like a traditional ufo but it dropped a city and i'm like i i know that city and i freaking look it up it's like three minutes from me no way i'm i'm like that's my forest Gotta scope it out and i and i told you that the for the forest that i'm next to has been known for UFOs. And oh, like yeah. that's it. And I'm like, oh shit. Like, boom, Full he's circle. talking about my he's talking about my forest. There's UFOs in my forest, dude. Very nice. And I saw I saw the picture and I'm like, that's the picture of All the right, UFO so now that you need to just set told up me about trail cams Ooh, and a camera. And, watching, you know, UFO hunt and yeah. night. Yo, if if I'm setting up this spot out here, this old you know, I don't know what it is. Cellar? Just like a cellar. Old, old cellar, root cellar. And like I see lights flying around in the sky. Oh boy! Don't forget if to get I just the camera suddenly out. disappear. If I just suddenly disappear, Zorbu, don't, don't pick him, please. Zorbu, we're cool. We're cool, Zorbu. All right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. That was really cool because I was like, "That's nice. that." That's he's cool. he's Not talking always. about my forest. That's uh, brilliant. Yeah. Anyway. I want to I want to watch this whole thing because I, I only watched that's like two hours long 20, yeah. 20 minutes yeah but now I'm like I need to watch more of this this yep. is so cool you were so all close right Gary how do you want to set it up mm. <laughs> yeah uh, I mean I, where do we start jeez where do we start uh you want to talk with about bird the, yeah I think we his should expedition? talk about his expedition uh so I, I mean like I don't think it, I don't think it's out of the like the Nazi base is being down there. I totally believe. Oh, like, absolutely, absolutely, hundred percent. I can see that. Yeah, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility, especially since they had so many resources that were stealing, and they were up to so much. It was one location anyway. It was one location on the world that 
David mentions it, that wasn't conquered and nobody was really conquering it. Nobody was going in and saying, hey, this is my land. During a, during World War II, when it's all about land grabbing, grabbing and, and getting a oil, I could see why they would be like, oh, why don't we just like hop up here? Check this out. And then it would give them a, a purchase to go if they could find actual land to get to the Americas. Through South America, yeah. Yeah. And David Childress has a, a span of, of like five minutes in this speech where he is like, this was the head of this program, um, a Nazi, a bunch of Nazis, just like shows a bunch of Nazis in Antarctica. Like they were there. And it's like, oh, OK, so he's actually showing proof that these Nazis were, in fact, in Antarctica. It's not like they were talking about like its potential, like they were actually there. He was showing I'm trying to actually like peruse through it a little bit. Um, there was a fort that they took over in Brazil. Itaipu. And they worked for I actually have it here. Let me show you. All right. So he was saying that they set up base right here at this this fort. And then from there, they were they were going down. Um, and th that's kind of how they they their their base of operations because you can't make a base in Antarctica, or at least that was. Um, no, you have to bring everything. You, you got to bring everything, <laughs> yeah. right? Exactly. So this is he was saying like this is where they took over. This was abandoned for a while, and then they came back in like the fifties, and there were Nazis just like occupying it in the fifties. So this was after the war, um, and so I, I guess they continued to. Um, work on whatever they were working on down there, you know. And then, of course, you, you got the Argentinians that are blonde haired, blue eyes, because that's where they all disappeared to. And the and the uh, Germans, South German America. towns where they speak mm -hmm. German, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. So they were down there, but I think that they were down there because of Antarctica, not just because they were escaping the eventual loss of the war. I think that that's why they went. Because they were on assignment to go figure out the secrets of whatever the oh. hell was is in it. I think there's something there. Definitely, there's there's definitely something there that they don't want us to find. And I think it's more evidence of ancient civilizations on this mm -hmm. planet. Towards I the end so. of the war, they definitely focused on more occult stuff, trying to find more answers uh, that way. Uh, and yeah, why? Like why it, do you think that is? It, it does seem like they drew back. And we're thinking to try and find out these other ways that nobody else has connection to Antarctica mm -hmm. could be one of those if ways. If they were able to find something that gave them an advantage in the war that would have mm -hmm. turned the tide, right. I think they truly believed it. I think that there was, they had evidence of a superior craft, maybe a UFO, that they couldn't figure out how to get working. And they were like, we need to find more of this technology if we could only just gather more of this we would win and he I sets think it that's up what they were uh, doing. he sets it up really well in the in the the conference because he explains kind of the economic and uh material needs of the war in germany germany has no oil itself so it needs tons and tons and tons of oil to fuel planes and tanks and all their all this shit so mm -hmm. they needed to find a way to develop a technology that they could have vehicles without the dependency on oil. Because there was like constant war. On, where was it? It was like in Armenia. There's an oil field. And the allies were constantly trying to bomb it. But it was never successful. And they were trying to get all the way down closer to uh, the Middle East so they could get this oil refinery town and they were never never able to get there either. So it was like a stalemate in that regard. So that's almost would be the reason for them to, to go to, to Antarctica. If they could, if they had found at some point in the past some kind of technology that they couldn't crack yet. And that's what you were saying kind of like, that's where they started just sending people on assignment Hey, we need to figure this thing out because this is the way that we're going to win. And maybe they just didn't in time. No, and that's the, I mean, well, we, we saw didn't. that with Oppenheimer. We saw the desperation of war uh, and, that and race. the entire country throwing all its resources, slavery, not with mm -hmm. with us necessarily, but like that's what the the Germans were doing. 
uh, at the time. Uh, and yep. yeah, doing crazy shit at a breakneck pace that I, I, yes, we, we did make quite a few technological leaps at the time. Maybe we had some help. I don't know. It's kind of weird how much we've really progressed since then. Uh, a lot of really scary stuff has come out of World War since World War II, including all our three letter agencies. Yeah. Uh, David Grush, didn't he mention in the Joe Rogan interview about Italy finding this yes, crash in the before, before World War II? So yeah. Germany possibly already has connection yes. to these this downed craft, couldn't figure it out. The whole time during World War II, they're trying to figure yeah, it out, and then did, in the desperation, the they're just like, "Go, send, go figure this shit out." They probably had something too, like their own shit. Oh yeah, you know who knows? Or traded or whatever. Because how would you jump from a plane, a prop plane, or you know, we weren't even in, into jets at this point, right? right? So we're just into propeller planes, and how would you jump into a disc? Where, yeah, Deglacken. Yeah, we talked about Deglacken, Deglacken. too. Yes, Where would you, like, right. all, of, all of a sudden go, you know, this disc thing seems to work out. Where in the fuck would you come <laughs> up with that? Yeah. Now, I'm sure it could happen, but it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Well, and so, it also syncs up with a bunch of other UFO ideas from around the world that people have witnessed or whatnot. So kind of weird that they would go straight to this disc shape. That's very uh, similar to a lot of different discs around the world. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and these governments both had access to a lot of information that we don't even know today. You know, there's there's that. But um, to even, like, especially back then, we're talking a long time ago, they were able to, get, like, it's hard for us to survive in Antarctica now. Right. True. Like, it's, it's you, you, people die down there all the time. Within, like, uh, all the time. Hour, down the yeah. crevices. Hour. They get lost. Yep. That that there was this. I, I was watching a documentary on Antarctica. Not anything to do with this stuff that we're talking about. Just like about Antarctica, because I wanted to just mm -hmm. you know soak in as much as I could. And there was this guy who had he his job is to go out and find those crevices. Like that's his job. He's like I've had many friends die doing this. Shh, like we man. he he's almost like one of the last of his crew. That it, but they need to do that or else they they can't go out. You have because anywhere these things can just appear, like well, or it just cracked and you don't see it. So it's like yeah. walking on a tightrope with no idea where the rope is, and any step you could drop my a mile, you know, and just be dead. It's crazy. You know, imagine the resources that are probably under all that ice. By the way, and in Greenland, they're starting to tap greenland's resources which are many by the way if we can get under the ice uh oh, yeah. and, and we're starting to be able to well they're crazy. making th trillion dollar contracts to mine greenland trillions yeah there's lithium there's all sorts of rare earth minerals the yeah. metals there that just oh you can pull that back ev up everybody here. wants pull that back up yeah there's, that's there, there's, that is freaking awesome the model and of course the model i want to get one of these uh, <laughs> things awesome the honey the honey boo Honey Boo 2. Honey, Honey Boo 2. That's honey a, Boo Boo. It's a nice name for a <laughs> honey boo -boo. lethal Nazi <laughs> UFO. That one's, that one's that a little one fatter. It? Honey it's boo? smaller and fatter. No, the Honey Boo Boo is, uh, is smaller honey, and fatter. Honey Boo Boo, yeah. It's a shuttlecraft. Uh, <laughs> honey Boo 1. That's the mother, I think. The one with Munchausen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They, they, they found a crash UFO. They, they found it. It's so similar it to so many others. And, and they, no of course they, they did. From their planes to this without reason. They just and didn't this have actually, element like, 115. That's, that's they bring it. it up. It doesn't look a lot like the Glocka. It's just spread out instead of in a bell shape. It's just a flat bell. And maybe the yeah. and like works better with the whole Mercury thing. Because, again, they didn't have element 115. So, Which we don't technically have either. We element. know it exists, but... Uh, we can't use it yet. We're not even close. I think they said uh, in the test with Bob Lazar, the test that they finally confirmed it, like it, it, it existed in that form for like not even a second, like a They're like, fraction of a second. Yeah. We detected that it exists, but we don't know yeah. what it looks like or how to use <gasps> it at all. There it is. There, there, it, is. there it goes. Oh, there it goes. And it's gone. And it's gone. Um, they, yeah, they, they definitely got 
got a UFO. This is the art artist depiction, maybe AI, who knows? Of that thing's a lot bigger than it. I this thought. looks like an artist. Look at those guns, man. There's some artillery How the on top is that of that thing. Taken off though. I mean, it's. It, it, you I know. mean, look at that. That's the classic prop plane on the right. You know, it's like, all right, that yeah. thing is massive. Oh, you can see the people underneath it. That thing is huge. It reminds me of all the, like, the scenes in, I don't know, like, like Captain America when they're in that underground yeah. Hydra base and there's that yeah. massive plane. It's just like, everything's just huge. First but, like, Avenger is a completely yeah, kinda, underrated movie. It's such a great movie. Joe Johnson. Joe been, Johnson. He, make, he makes great. more. He needs to make more movies. That's what. That's what I think. Yeah. They didn't bring that's him back. First he Captain America movie. Yeah, they yeah. didn't bring him back because he wasn't social so enough. Because he was kind. He's oh, kind of man. an artist, shut in, kind of like shy guy. The dude uh, worked on freaking OG Star Wars. Okay, he designed Boba Fett. Did he? Yeah. Let him yeah. make yeah. more movies. Yeah, they said he'd be oh, like in doing wow. sketches and and doing storyboards and stuff by himself a lot. And that's yeah. you want that. God, you do want that. So Got to the Rocketeer, you know, kind of good. Yep, yep. Kind of good. The Rocketeer. I forgot about that movie. Wow. Yep, yep. Oh, shit. Great movie. Um, so again. the Nazis had a base, uh, and one of David Hatcher's children's theories is they were looking for alternate propulsion because their oil, I mean, their oil supplies were so vulnerable. Um, he yeah. talks, there's like some real world war two stuff in his talk too, like, uh, the bombing of the, was it Cairo? So that's Romania, but he says the Romania. bombing of the Cairo oil fields was our biggest bombing campaign of the entire war of the entire yeah. war. But this is Romania where we failed. We completely yeah. failed. Half of our, half of our planes got shot down. Um, because I guess the Nazis saw it coming and they were able to distract whatever, um, and, uh, they had to, the, the allies had to break radio silence and that kind of screwed them. But, um, yeah, so they, they needed to think of a way fast to find a way, uh, cause they knew they were going to lose at some point. Right. So that they got more and more desperate. And, uh, if they would have gotten that V2 rocket, man, oof, things would have been different for Europe, for Europe. What a crazy war world war two was. Yes. Massive. The technology jump, like you were saying, uh, even without the fantastical saucers and well, stuff, it, the it... technological jump is was amazing between World War One and World War Two. Just, just planes it, alone, planes alone, how it uh, af affects our society to this very day. Submarines, oh, yeah. how there's a war going on right now to this very day <laughs> from, that's yeah. left over from that. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's nuts. Um, the other thing is the pyramids. Now, uh, I was just looking at uh, here. We can uh, pull up some uh, Google Google Maps. Oh yeah, Google Ooh, Maps time. Let's go. Google, Google, Maps, time. Google Maps time. I feel like with Google Maps, that was uh, a surprise for I'm sure governments, where we can see what's going on. Oh, you can find yeah. the places where they uh, they smudge it out or they yeah. Make it completely I, blank. Found I, I found a place. I was about to say that. Yeah, I found a place that is um, that's just east of Mammoth Mountain, uh, right near the border of. Uh, I'll see if I can find it again. Right near the border of California, and um, and Mammoth. It's near Long Valley. There's a lot of volcano stuff. There's a giant square that's just smudged out. Just you could, it's just completely smudged out. It's a perfect square. That's how you notice it. You're like, what is this perfect square in the yeah. middle of the desert? I go, we just got low quality photos of that low one quality. very specific oh, area. God. Yeah. Meh. Um, and it's completely smudged out. You know, it's some kind of base, right? So oh, yeah. here's the here's the famous really? one that a lot of people, you know, look at. So that's probably a tip of a mountain. Look at how fucking high this ice is, dude. And it's that's so much bigger than I thought. Two kilometers a side. Oh, yeah. Each side. Two that's... kilometers by two kilometers. Like that's insane. That and that's is massive. Just tip it. Like there's probably more underneath it. That right? would be that would be Atlantean at that point. <laughs> there's right. Uh if it's oh, it... and I'm sorry, and it's perfectly north, south, east, and west. Right. The like faces. The, the, yeah. yeah, the faces are true north south east and west like what 
that that blew me away. That was new information to me. That was crazy. Look at this photo from the side. It's kind of it helps you kind of understand how symmetrical and strange this is. A mountaintop. Yeah, Look it's how, like that's crazy. straight sides. That's insane. That's very strange. I must say, very strange. Yeah. Uh, it's got a, like another little, like what is this? Is this a small yeah, like, pyramid small next, next to it? There could mm -hmm. be like two possibilities. So it was built while it was in Antarctica. You'd have to remove the ice, uh, you know, and build upon whatever ground that is there. So if it's two miles at least of ice, how big is this thing really? Right. 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 Um, yeah. Or like alien versus predator. There's freaking little aliens down there. Something that was built before there was even ice around. Or the ice isn't that deep in that area, right? I mean, it's it's There's not. That's also that on top all, of it. All of Antarctica is, is that deep. But then that brings up the whole other theory that Antarctica wasn't actually in the South Pole for uh, I don't remember how long science uh, claims a billion years or something it's it's crazy millions now. it's millions of years it's like mi mi millions of years 60 so, so there was like 100 something like reported that reported rainforest 90 million years ago okay yeah right right so that but, means it had to be near the equator uh-huh rainforest right so it had to be near the equator um but and we how, could also talk that 90 million years ago i mean we're getting in the pangea area right now right so um but you also think about Younger Dryas prior to the Younger Dryas, uh, Siberia had mammoth grazing, which means it wasn't permafrost, which it is now, which means it was like grasslands. You know, it could still be cold, but um, it was grasslands that yeah. that had millions of mammoth, millions of mammoth so, grazing. So yeah. it would be a lot further south you know yes where it is now in the arctic circle then it would be more of like where i don't know montana would is now right so if you think about shifting the the earth where siberia would be a little well, well much further south what would that do to antarctica it would bring it for further uh more to like where chile is right uh in bring south it america. up north yeah maybe not yeah. that it would need a lot further to get tropical but maybe i mean graham hancock talks about uh the theory of and actually it's um ob suspicious observers talks about this too a strong enough coronal mass ejection hitting earth could displace the core from the mantle all right and graham hancock explains it like an orange where the orange fruit itself disconnects from the peel of the orange and then the orange peel can just move free around the mantle so this would be the earth and if it got hit by um uh, just an insane bombardment of cmes from the sun it might have actually done that and just slid free and if the core mm. of the earth is is moving still and then the mantle stops moving the day the sun stood still like maybe that has something to do with the biblical references of like when the sun goes starts going back the other way um who knows and then it, I don't know. Graham also talks about how it could be that if a large enough asteroid nicked the planet, like, like instead of a in, yeah, instead of a direct impact, if it was like a big enough asteroid, like Chuxalub or something, the one that destroyed the dinosaurs, if it hit like the top, right? If it was if it was coming at an angle and hit North America, the Younger Dryas event, like maybe that's what happened. Like maybe it was that kind of a, a hit where it shifted earth and then put antarctica where it is it so it looks like having to mars it looks like something just maybe graze the size of that huge yeah that canyon. massive yeah massive side of it. in the side of it yeah. yeah yeah that's a good point it does look like a massive scar like that could is very possible what when it had an atmosphere it could have like shifted everything out of alignment and just sh shredded that planet but who knows but something killed all, yeah, all so of the megafauna. It, it could be know? crust displacement, which Hapgood, Charles Hapgood has talked about. It could be just right. the Earth's axis moving, something hitting Over it hard time. enough. Uh, well, we we have wobbles. There's wobbles yeah. within wobbles. 
uh that that affect the monsoon you know that's why the sahara goes from green to desert you know every few thousand years no it's like fifteen thousand years something like that but uh there's so much we don't know yeah uh, and like, a lot of guesswork when, when did the ice actually come because that's something that came up um quite often too because the the Piri Reese map and the Arantius um Phineas map yeah. uh for from the 1500s and oh you got it thank you <laughs> so that's the Piri, Piri Reese map which at the bottom you can see it's very similar to the Antarctic coastline it connects here right this is Antarctica yeah and what's weird is there's fauna on the map indicating that you know there was life there yeah and according to uh history or at least science there was ice like what six thousand years ago Let's see or, not I sure. believe it was around six thousand years ago last time the antarctic coast was free of ice so how is there animals roaming around being traceable on a map at that time and same thing with the orontius phineas map the yeah. they've indicated that on that map there's no trace of ice printed on there that's what leads me to believe the displaced um mantle this one? right if, if yeah that if that happened and there was no ice down there maybe the whole earth or earth's whole um what what am i trying to say um 100 million years ago the, the environment was, when there was, was no so ice. drastically different like maybe it was just a lot warmer yeah and what makes me think that they're very correct in that and i think at the where the north pole is it looks like little sections of ice on the map so i am leaning to believe that it actually is true in them saying like you know there is no ice on antarctica at least back in the 1500s at that time yeah that oh yeah 1500s though. or it, it's i would i would say it's more from the source maps um which is possible too yeah yes i i think all of our estimated time is just way the fuck off i'll, I'll just say that now i think all of it's completely off yeah. uh and and things are thousands of years older like malta I think Malta is the same age as Gobekli Tepe. I think all the the stone structures are at least 12,000 years old, at least, if not older. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right on that. Because if you if you look at the different buildings on Malta and then you compare like how they are always arranged to face a certain direction and the different times, and then Gobekli Tepe is is basically the same thing, right? As you as you go and well, they haven't dug them up yet, but they've done lidar like to 40 more them. yeah there's so many more and it's just like malta they face in the specific direction to during that time period to make sure that the equinoxes and the stars all align the right way and it's like these people knew exactly what they were doing they were not hunter gatherers that decided to just throw a building together that's fucking bullshit yeah so here are the bizarre particles keep flying out of antarctica's ice and they might be uh, they might shatter modern physics Cosmic rays emanating from the South Polar ice cap could lead to new physics. This is from 2018. There's something mysterious coming up from the frozen ground in Antarctica, and it could break physics as we know it. Physics don't know what it is exactly, but they don't know. Uh, but they do know it's some sort of a cosmic ray, a high energy particle that blasted its way through space into the Earth and back out again. And through the other side. Yep. But the particles of physicists, hey but the uh, particle physicists know about the collection of particles that make up the what the scientists call the standard model of particle physics. Uh, shouldn't be able to do that. Well, I guess you just have to change your standard model. Yeah, you might have things, to change it. Of things you barely know about, you dumb monkey. Uh, sure, there are low-energy neutrinos that can pierce through miles upon miles of rock unaffected but high energy neutrinos as well as other high energy particles have large cross sections that mean they'll almost always crash into something after zipping into the earth and never making it out the other side so they they so don't wait, know is it is it not neutrinos then 
No, it's not. No, yeah, it's saying that the <laughs> neutrinos can, and this is like more powerful than yeah. neutrinos, and it it should be that, hitting stuff and not wild. going through, but it's going through. And they discovered it coming out of Antarctica, so uh, that has led even ancient. It's, alien it's coming theory, out. It's coming out of Antarctica, meaning it has come into Earth from the it other side. It has gone side through the entire gone, Earth and gone through the Earth. Okay. Yeah, and that's right. so Antarctica and, and made it. Um, now I don't. I don't know if Antarctica is the only place. This is where they detected it. It might so be happening say. all around the world, but this yeah, is where right. they detected it. Yeah. And there must have been some form. It, mm. it must be easier to detect detect it there. I don't even know why they were looking for it, and they found it ex accidentally. Not sure. How do they detect them? Is it where they get like ice core samples and then test the ice core samples? No, they have things that pass that? through. They have, a big, they have a big device that can. Detect it's it. it's a series of gas that they layer onto each other i i've seen this th i've actually talked about it they have this device at the griffith observatory in la and it's just what they do is they have a, a few different layers of gas um right on top in a sealed container right and you can you, it's visible you can see the different layers because they add something to certain some of the gases that makes it visible and there's one type here and one type here so it holds the one that is affected by the neutrinos and as they go through this gas, you can actually see it being disturbed okay. by the neutrinos. Okay. It's very cool. And um, so, so it's, it's a visible thing. So I'm sure that they have like electronic equipment that will detect them at a much finer level than that. Because that's, that's coming from the sun and not going through the planet. So like something like that probably wouldn't be able to detect something like this. But you know those pools of um they have them deep under uh, underground and they're, they're just surrounded by like circles and then there's like water it looks kind of like um shit i can't think of uh my brain's not working i'm tired um <laughs> ah, i forget what the this eagle is like, that movie with yeah uh, what is that Buff movie where he's down there and yes. it's like an ai inside of that eagle ball. eye eagle eye eagle eye that is is one, something like that i, I miss him i i, lo I, like, I like you him. think he's a great actor uh, I hope he comes back one day now yeah. that he's found Jesus. Um, yeah, that eagle eye. Thank you. Interesting. That I think that is something that they use. I don't know exactly what that's called. They made it seem like that was some sort of AI computer coolant yeah. system, but there's also like a scientific version of it for collecting neutrinos. Mm. I don't know what it's called though. So Does anybody uh, know in chat? Am I just crazy? I don't know. Anyway. No. But we're not scientists. Uh, so uh, <laughs> back, no, to, we're not. back to around World War II when uh, it was an Admiral Byrd went down there and uh, mm. there was a mission. So there was New Swaziland where the Germans went there. Out. And then there's our mission that went down there. And according to lots of UFO lore, there was a battle. A battle between possibly us and the Germans, us and UFOs. Mm. that's where the german base was up here and the uk base during world war ii is down here the secret base and then this is bird station and then i think also in that same island chain the nazis had a here? secret yeah base also yes. it was like a, a secret submarine base or something that they had down there and it was supposed to be like in between ours and the uk's or something like that uh i'm uh I, I i'm going off of memory here so that that's been part of ufo forever there's art bell episodes on it which are great uh and the base possibly still functioning to this day but there's also the alien base there's also the alien base but uh admiral bird came up i don't know if you watched that ancient aliens one they had uh mr mbb333 on that up on this episode where they uh remember that big chunk of ice that maybe i can find it that everybody thought was a ship that crashed yeah 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 it yeah. looked like a u-boat kind of look to it uh, uh, uh well he's got mr mbb 333 he's got a channel he's a little hyperbolic sometimes but uh okay a lot but um there it is was that the uh... Ukrainian <laughs> looks like the Azov this Azov nation there did you get yeah, it whatever that is here, here hang on 
Here is. Get away. Get away. Space. There it is. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Now, now this to me has is instantly debunked. Well, what it is, what it probably is, is a is a slide of some kind. Because if you look at the bigger picture of it, yeah, you can see where it comes from, and it, right and up the mountain, it, it clearly comes down There's a mountain, crashes through a bunch of fucking snow, and slides like a long way. Uh, you know, it probably is now, a big chunk of ice, but I. I don't know how it would have ended up as one long thing like that. That doesn't make sense to me. But if you, it, it the Y Files actually talks about this in one of their videos about it, uh, Antarctica. And they show basically the entire image from this point, which is where it came to rest. Yeah, it, it comes all the way up the mountain. There's a bunch of, like, you could see where it crashed through, and there's just a bunch of snow, like, pushed aside. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, it's probably some sort of a landslide. Uh, but but there's yeah, I mean, he also they also a very interesting looking landslide. Let's see if right, I can give it find that. the other thing. Uh, they found that uh that jet uh the um the octagonal shape the jet no, black no, thing. The, oh, the, oh, I want to talk uh, about that. Though. The contrail, the contrail that that circumvents the world. The contrail that circumvents what? the world. I'm yeah. sorry, what? I didn't hear about this at all. Uh, Hang on. What? Uh. uh Hmm. For the Black Knight felt well, the Black Knight satellite. No, 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 no. no they said it would have that. to be. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be real fun finding this on fucking Google. Ooh. Hang on, you guys go along. I'll find it. Well, I'll talk about the. Uh, the there's this octagonal black stone shape that was found by some uh some pilots i think they were flying over they were they were i think it might have been after bird they were just doing like this routine checkup v like in and around to just like i don't know surveying around. or something surveying yeah and there's actually an interview i found because i've a, it's only this one guy He's the only person that's come forward to talk about this, but he talks about how there was this um, shape that looked like an octagon and there it was perfectly black. Like it didn't reflect light at all. So it stood out like crazy to this guy. It was like a, a seal team or something. And they went to this place and he said that when he got to what seemed to be a door frame and there was a door there, he went to push it open and it felt like stone, but it, wasn't heavy like stone in fact it opened really easily and he said that when he went inside it was giant like some nine acres inside like this massive space and you can go down into these other uh, areas and there was people or not people but beings living down there now it's, this is just this one person who's come forward to say this so there's no real evidence that this actually happened but it's pretty interesting. Uh, no. One thing that um, stood out from that kind of interview, at least when the Y mm -hmm. Files did the covered it, was that they he drew this shape that was on the door triangle with a cross on it, and mm -hmm. then there is a coin in Mexico oh, yeah. that oh. has exact same thing. Now, I mean, maybe he has seen it before, or just could be yeah. crazy and there are two really shapes cool. an x and a, and a triangle mm -hmm. but it's very reminiscent of each other yeah so, True. so if it's real then that's really odd how can you have two very uh distinct shapes like that be connected are they connected are they not i don't know and what is it and what can, is you, it can you go back to go back to the first shape uh wait let me just get the timestamp. uh 20 i'm just kind of want to look at the see if the x is the same it is very similar as as far as like where they're they're pointing because you think you just be coordinates be anywhere that's yeah. what i'm thinking right like make, three coordinates and that's that's a spot right there x well, pyramid spot. right well oh yeah pyramids pyramid. obviously were very important to 
some civilization that kept building them everywhere on this entire planet. Um, and then that cross could have meant something. Mm -hmm. Was it the North Pole that had the military uh, expedition out there and then he found... That was Bird, right? That found like the hole to the center of the Earth and there was the the Earth is actually hollow and there's people living in the inside of the Earth. What was that? Was that that was the North Antarctic Pole. or was that North? That Pole? was North Pole. Okay, mm. correct me if I'm wrong, Chad. Pretty sure it's North. Was that Bird though? Admiral Bird, yes, oh. it was. Was it same? It, it yeah. was the guy. Uh, Very okay. same. Same. Okay. Same dude. So here's right. here's the guy you were talking about. There's there's uh, Brian, uh, the guy who's who uh, is Linda. Uh, there's Lin Linda Moulton Howe. And talking oh, yeah. about she, um, she's the one that interviewed him. So he he had two stories. He had the one where they dropped off the scientists, right? Oh, and they disappeared. And they they disappeared. They went back to go get them. They were just freaking gone for a um, week. For a week. Then they got a frantic phone call. They went and picked them all up, and they were all in shock. They couldn't really talk. Mm. And then he was move. told to yeah, they, they were almost catatonic. And had to drop him off and never heard from him again. Uh, was told never to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. And then he also talks about the, like, uh, God, how, how big did he say it was? Nine acres. In Nine an acre. Indoor building. Indoor building. Wow. That had like a glowy, eye. like, green that's, walls and that's stuff. That's huge. Above the that ice. Really and there's big. apparently doors underneath as well. It was an Amazon distribution warehouse, okay? They're in our... <laughs> That's where they store yeah. everything. That's how they do the same day pickup, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they just come through tunnels, an yeah. intricate set of tunnels in the middle of the earth. So there's that. And then hang on. So here's the, the giant like contrail that goes around the world. Is it 24? Yeah. What? There it is, right with there. The, with the scientists, what kind of stood out to me was the, the research gear. It was um, stored and locked away. And if, eventually transported to the uh reich patterson air force base right in ohio which is apparently known for sending ufoe stuff uh-huh uh-huh area mm -hmm. 51 that's where it kind of goes before it gets to area 51 is that air force base so coincidence again? Like roswell that's where they sent that the, that crash sorry you can't see the, like, i gotta keep it paused because it's on they the hit screen, you sir. Yeah. So uh, there you go. See this line right here. Wow. Uh, and there's there's uh, supposedly pictures from the ground of it too. Uh, give me a moment. But they don't know what created it. No. They they theorize yeah. that if it's a ship, it had to be going over. If it was a craft of some kind, it had to be going well over Mach ten. Well over Mach ten which is 70,000 miles an hour or something like that. So not 7,000 miles an hour. I can't remember. I don't know what Mach 10 is. So this is how the, the continent is broken what? up in the treaty. And here is it, what it looked like it's, below. Hang on. Germany's got this little spot up here. There we go. America's got all this. I think this is actually the South Pole. Like the um, coordinates what? are right here That's off to the side. Fast. Boop -a -doop -a -doop China's boop. coming in. Uh, sorry. So, so uh, Mach ten is seven thousand six hundred seventy-two miles an hour. That's insane. Damn. Is that is that what Tom Cruise did in that movie Maverick? I think so. The opening. It, it might have just been Tom Cruise. I, dude, it was Tom Cruise on a surfboard. Okay, that's what it was. Well, maybe he was just filming uh, that scene for the movie because he probably right, was. It, <laughs> Uh, the, no, it was not a single observer. It was, uh, it was, they just estimated it had to be going minimum that fast for it to be for it. It could have been just a really freak cloud formation. Like that's what it could have been that got caught up in some jet stream or something like that. Okay. But if it's contrail and it's a shit, if it's a craft, if it's a plane of some right. kind, it had to be going a minimum speed for it to be that long before it fades. Uh, unless I, you ask, uh, the contrail people, which, uh, I'm not totally, I'm not. I'm not really against, to be honest with you. You dropping uh, stuff over heads chemically? Uh, aluminum. Is it? Help me, chat. Is it aluminum oxide? It's something with aluminum in it to help reflect. Aluminum. It. They find it in the dirt. Aluminum. Yeah. Uh, and it reflects the sunlight, and it's supposed to be uh, uh, cooling the earth or some crap. 
Uh, but uh, here is Playing what God, it looks man. like from the bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, this is from the ground. Yeah, oh, that's a lot ground. bigger than it's. Yeah, damn, that's way bigger. Dude, than the first picture. No, that's the other one was on the picture of the Earth, and you saw that. Sorry, flat earthers, you saw the curvature of the Earth because it's round. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. And again, we're just going over all possibilities. I don't know what the Mr. MBB three 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 is fun, but he gets a little hyperbolic. Okay. He always thinks there's spaceships behind the sun and stuff. Uh, uh, if you think about how big that is and how big of a craft would need to actually make that, yeah, it just be, makes me think of the, the Phoenix Lights, right? Because like a giant uh, that was triangle. massive. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if that suddenly just took off, who, I mean, what's Mach ten to a ship that has that kind of technology? Who knows? But that wouldn't be as advanced as uh, the Tic Tac and other things we've seen that basically just fly through the air like they're flying through nothing. Like there's right. no resistance at all. And there's always some like little shimmer, shimmer around. If you're a Doctor Who fan, shimmer. Uh, there's a little shimmer around her, around it because it's probably anti-gravity. And it can, who knows? It could probably fly through mesas in Utah. Probably. And the water and us and buildings, like you know, I, like, yeah. yeah, through maybe through the planet. Solids. Well, that's one of the They're things they talked about is, uh, it, it, you know, it hits. <clears throat> There's no resistance when these uh, UFOs hit the water like it just goes the same speed. That's fucking crazy. And the water doesn't get displaced either. No, right? no, no. There's that's no splash. Right. Wow. It's another weird thing. Yeah. And you could see it in the video. Like there's a video of it going into the water and there's no it's like, like it just goes okay but also it makes you think that it's not actually there mm. you know even though it's a video it's well, just like deceives that, your brain that's, that that's one thing i think we have to think about is we can see it but is it there is it on our plane is it good point it, it, are true. we seeing it you know it's uh, visibly there but not physically there. Vance, they're cloaking. There's shit in front of our, over our houses we, we, that we don't even notice, you know, all the time. So it's right now. Yeah. So it's either some freak of nature that makes us see it, like some, uh, you know, a thunderstorm, uh, magnetic interference, uh, you know, a solar flare, something that, that, you know, screws up the variables, maybe just throwing it out there. I don't know. Or maybe. Mm. Don't give a shit. Maybe they're like, turn off the cloaking device. Let's fuck with them. <laughs> we just want to mess with their little monkey brains. <laughs> mess with them further. <laughs> oh my god. Let's mess with them. I wouldn't put it past Zorbu. I, I wouldn't mean, put past yeah, Zorbu. This one all the time. <laughs> uh, but I, 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 uh, I knew a cook. Somebody who went down to uh, what's the big base down there? Starts with an M. Uh, oh, oh, I just had it pulled up. Murray. Mur Mur Mary Bird. Murray Bird. No, Mur Myrtle. Merkel. Oh, Myrtle. God. Angela Merkel. I don't know. <laughs> Megan. Megan Merkel. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. McMurdo. Uh, <laughs> there it is. It's base Megan Merkel. Okay. So. Oh my um, God. Oh God! Can we send her there? No kidding. <laughs> I I hope so. But I no, knew I no, I saw you went down there, and she was a chef down there, and cool. She said she never saw anything weird, but she also said I never really went outside. <laughs> so, I would not go outside. Uh, I would not go outside either. I think just smart. You guys would just be outside watching the sky the entire time, and be like, well, do not. I bet you the go. stars out there are fucking insane. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. True that. Uh, are there such thing as southern lights out there? You know, like we got northern lights. Right. But they get something yeah. like that down there. When I don't see why not. Yeah, because it's supposed yeah, why to be, not? It's because of the curvature of the earth and because it's round. Because <laughs> it's round. I'm fighting words, Gary. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I think there's southern lights. There's got to be. <laughs> not cold enough. Yeah. I've just been looking at uh, Antarctica. It's massive. What is this? Just the that's a big giant earth, earth penis. Oh wow! <laughs> it's all blown out over here. On one <laughs> of those islands, I don't know which one. Uh, 
the last um, mammoth died, uh, it was they were trapped. What, did he get on, stuck out there? Yeah, they got they they got trapped on an island, like, and they lived until like uh, three four thousand years ago. So they were they were pygmy though. They were they got smaller because uh, mm. they were trapped on an island. They were all inbred. But the last one died like three or four thousand years ago. I I did not know that until I looked it up. I went, when did the last oh, mammoth yeah. die? And they found yeah. a a carcass. Yeah, it's crazy. That's yeah, it was a Roman. Rad. I thought it was before Roman times, unless they found Surprised something. They haven't that. brought it back to life yet. That that it's they one tried. that they, can. they tried. It's one that they can, and they probably will. Island dwarfism. Thank you, frightening me. Uh, um, and uh, I think that that would be rad. Uh, a Forrest Galante uh, does videos on uh, like top ten animals they can bring back. Like, uh, <laughs> Seriously? Oh my yeah. gosh. And um, that is one of them because there's tons of DNA for one. There's tons of DNA. There's still an ancestor, and uh, I think it'll be great if they and they, they said it would be good for the environment. Are those viable I just think it, though? I just think it'd Why? be cool. Why grazing? But still, I don't know. I think it would just be. What do you mean? Why? I think it'd be fucking cool. Bring back a mammoth. Hell yeah! Not a. Don't bring back a T Rex. Oh yeah, bring that. No, back. Not, not a giant saber tooth or a short faced bear, but a mammoth would be cool. Like one mammoth. Or I think that's like, the thing. Is like they can't. Re they can't no, reproduce. They, they, would, they right? would be able to reproduce. They will be able to. Re uh, within life, our lives, that's a problem. That's a problem with clones, though, is that the clones are well, we're like gonna a do lesser it. version. DNA, the, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, uh, yeah, they cloned that sheep, and then the cloned <laughs> version of the sheep got all sorts of diseases died, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, right. That was wasn't 20, that was more version. than 20 years ago. That was a long was time ago. ago. They, what are they, they doing? Now? True, uh, Clon cloning wrappers, technology, <laughs> cloning wrappers. <laughs> Bring back raptors, Tupac. You said raptors. No, rap, bring back rappers. Tupac. <laughs> rap, rappers. <laughs> he never died, man. He never died. He never died. You can still see him. No, uh, yeah, Dolly. Dolly was a long time ago. Um, but they're pretty close. There, there is there. Uh, he he does videos on it. He talks about the co the company that's doing it, and uh, they're getting there. So he's also oh, looking for animals that are believed to be extinct that uh he thinks they're still around and one of them I forgot what it's like it's the tasmanian tiger yes Is that what it's yeah, called yeah, yeah. so died like 100 years ago supposedly but um they just found uh basically they found one recently where the bones line up uh and it was, yeah some guy had found one he had he had raised it in some small so it's in it's it's in oh god i forgot where it was this looks really cool. I thought cool. it was Australia. Was no. it not Australia? No, it's like New Zealand, but it's an island off of New Zealand. Oh, Tasmania. Tasmania. And it's in a in a canyon where the dingoes can't get can't get in. So this they could probably still survive. And one of the villagers there found a baby one and raised it, but another dog had killed it. Oh. And he showed him the bones and he showed him the lower jawbone. And he's like, fuck. That's pretty close. <laughs> Dang. That's pretty close. So he he is convinced he's gonna find one. He's convinced he's gonna find alive, one. alive. Yes, cool. They've they've been sighted. They've been sighted by a bunch of by a by a bunch of people down there in that one area. Yeah, so, it's basically a cryptid at this point. People are like, oh, it, we don't know if it's still around, but I see one. Yeah. Bigfoot? Oh, the Y files just did a video on cryptids. I haven't seen it yet. It came out yesterday. Ooh. Nice. I gotta watch that anyway. Great but uh, as far as the weirdness of Antarctica, I don't think we'll ever find out because uh, as advanced as we are, we can't get through three miles of ice. It took us a, a lot. long fucking time to go up to, to Greenland to dig up those those ice core samples. Did you know how far they went? They went down like really far, like really far, like a mile. And they just this is three jumped. miles. Yeah, yeah. there's three but miles of ice. The great thing is if we ever get the technology to be able to go underneath, everything down there is like perfectly preserved under the ice. As long well, as there's, of course, there's no melt. There's, 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 there. there's lakes, lakes stuff, yeah. there's seas and lakes under there. There's volcanoes. There's pockets that they think it might be 72 degrees down there. <laughs> Amazing. Unless it's, it's right crazy. there. You have a little right. ecosystem. Hey, it could be Atlantis. Like the Disney well, we, but, Disney. but we don't know. Like what if there's a super volcano? 
Oh, okay, just you want to think about disaster. What if there's a super volcano under the three hundred, the three miles of ice, and that thing blows? Oh, we yeah. Do. Well, Screw. if you if you look at <laughs> Eric brought up Antarctica, right? You were looking at it. That would be it insane. Kinda, it kind of is shaped like a big volcano. Like, I mean, you know, just like put a caldera right in the middle. Boom. If there's a super just like volcano, it blows up, and the planet just goes. Whoosh. Well, I mean, it was, <laughs> for one, <laughs> like a big away. fart. So say it, say it, like, worst case scenario, say it's under three miles of ice and it really pops that three miles of ice if it's powerful enough to do that. Uh, well, that we'd the be oceans fucked. are going up. The oceans, the oceans are going, are going up be, for sure. It would be well, raining for fucking. It would be raining forever because that would yeah. put that would put water in the atmosphere. Well, uh, and fire. There's a you, period you know where it rains for up, right? a million years. Oh well, yeah, Chuck Chuck's a Chuck's a love. I love, I love turned the chat. sky to fire. Bitcoin, for like three I love years. Bitcoin is going crazy. I don't even understand Bitcoin, and I'm and I'm too old to care. So, oh, is it rising again? I hope you diamond hands out there held on, because I did not <laughs> get the fuck out of there. I don't understand it. Now, I think Earth's the only thing that old. would maybe kind of debunk that is if there is no, like most volcanoes are near the edges of tectonic plates, and they yes. Think Antarctica sits smack in the middle mm. of it. But I mean, you never know. There could still be a volcano, but the I'm thinking the, there are volcanoes. There are volcanoes. They're absolutely, but yeah, but not a super like a super we don't know for sure how big it is. But I mean, Yellowstone isn't like it's not on a tectonic plate. It's in the middle of a uh, continental United States. The thing is, it's a hot spot, it's a stationary hot spot on the planet that the crust goes over. So here's here's the hot spot. Here's our crust. So if you go and look at previous calderas of Yellowstone, it goes all the way out into the Pacific Ocean. So cool. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I've looked a lot into it because like you live in America and like you think about Yellowstone all the time. <laughs> There's like, like, why would you not think about it? Because it would wipe out half of our country. That's why I don't think about it, you know? <laughs> really? Just let it happen. You know? There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Just do what you can. If it happens, I'd, all right. I would wave. <laughs> I'm going to go outside and wave. But real quick, if we, uh, so Randall released, uh, yeah, let's see if I can find a picture of that map. He finally did it. So I've always said, hey, the Western United States, doesn't it look like it melted? Doesn't right. look like there's just a bunch of water. Just like and and he threw up a map last night. I was listening to it, but it's part of his thumbnail that shows like how much water was in the western United States, like right after the flooding. And it's maybe he was listening to you last week. Well, he doesn't listen to me. Hey, the serpent bros might listen once in a while, but uh hi. Hey. Uh let's see if I can find it. Cosmographia. You guys keep talking for a second. Cos yeah. Not that it doesn't oh, yeah, roll off. Yeah, it's like, doesn't uh, roll off. So let's talk about the Atlantis theory because there's this. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, never, yeah. I never even thought or heard of this at all. You know, there's the Azores, the, the Richard structure, the Eye of the Sahara. And like those are the two main Atlantis theories that I have been ha have known about. And, you know, I, I believe maybe that could be true. One or the other. I don't know which one, but uh, I'm not leaning in any specific way. But the whole point of antarctica being atlantis that was new for me but when i think about what atlantis is to me now it doesn't really represent a city anymore it's more the empire of what they represent you know this ancient technologically advanced civilization that basically just roamed the maritime uh, area of the atlantic ocean right west africa north africa um all the way through the mediterranean through the Straits of Gibraltar, like that whole area, the Azores, all the way anywhere, right? Because they had the technology. But if you think about it, the Perry Reese map that shows actually the Antarctica uh, connecting uh, Connected, to yeah. to South America. I mean, it kind of is even still. You brought the Google Maps up, and like you see oh, that I'm it's connected there. And if you think about the water, if you get rid of four hundred feet of water, it does that land connect? Is that actually just? Uh, connected, like uh, I think it does. What's that, I, you, what's that website just, that we were able Garrett to do just that? That, that that chain of islands that pretty much it's not it's it looks like a mountain chain that goes from that tip of Antarctica right to S South America. 
right. I, I think a lot of that is above water. I think that is a straight up almost a land bridge. Uh, at right. That point. Not all so of look it, at that. but a lot Boom. of it. Yeah. So if the, if you had a maritime a Atlantic based civilization with technologically advanced ships and whatever in the Atlantic Ocean, they would have known about this area. And then you take maybe Antarctica wasn't always on the South Pole. Maybe it was a little further north where it was a little warmer so that there was animals that were grazing down there. Who knows? Like, why wouldn't they have gone down there? They would have had the whole Atlantic Ocean at, at you know, their fingertips. If Google or, Earth doesn't have it, they need an option of like, hey, show us the Earth. Yes. During the Ice Age. I'd like to see the oh, tectonic plates, cool. like a, a, a layer of that, if they could do a whole layer oh, skin God, thing on it. Layer, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. I know there's you that, that website. If you could see, like, the winds, like the uh, atmosphere wind pattern, because that's something as well that you could show in here. It would be cool to get all of the that data. It'd be cool to have a globe, like a light up globe that does that. It can turn into different planets too. Yeah. They probably do this Toggle already, right? Chicago, it's like I want to look at Mars. I want to look at uh, you know, Jupiter. That'd be, dope. That'd be freaking awesome. I just wish Google was based instead of well, being instead of yeah. uh, woke and insane California? and stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this Tommy. that map you were talking about? This is like the yeah, yeah. before so flood, before and flood, and go up a little more after. Look at that's. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Now so the entire is central that, valley. Is that, Calif yeah. is that California? This looks like yeah, California. That's the central yeah. Valley. And that's dude, central you valley look at the there. central valley and it, it was an inland sea. It absolutely had to be. Wow. Uh, and it's flat as hell. So like I I you know, I can't even tell you how many times I've driven up and down that. I I can't I can't I lost count. Fifty. More than fifty times. From from San Francisco down to San Diego, it's a horrible drive. It's very. What was flat. that website that we found? The chat provided it was a website where you could see the different level, like the water levels. I know that's what I want to see. I cannot remember what that website was. But this was a great. Go watch this too. This is a great little snippet of uh, of just talking about uh, you know the just different stages of flooding and are they connected or not and Lake Bonneville. Because uh, they're finally bringing up Lake Bon, like Lake Bonneville is pretty much Salt Lake is what's left of Lake Bonneville, and it's Lake Bonneville is huge. As a matter of fact, the ground is still rebounding from from Lake Bonneville in in uh, in the Western United States. So that isostatic isostatic depression is mm -hmm. it's popping, still popping back up, and you can see shorelines right, and sometimes the shorelines are crooked. Because it's not mm, rebounding. Because it's like it's not a uniform rebound. So you'll see shortly you'll see striations on a mountain that are it's like crooked. bulging out sideways. Yeah, in it's, some it's areas. Rad. It's rad. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah. It, uh, oh God. What was so? It, it's it's tough to like. I like all these theories, but uh, it, it all depends on our dating of the ice which the science seems to be pretty sound on unless, you know, carbon dating is a little off, which it could be, which it could be because we didn't have it until post, uh, uh, 47, 45, and that's 45. If, you, if you believe and trust carbon dating, cause that's I've heard you people believe and trust in it. Uh, it's yes. not even that accurate. It, yeah. Uh, it gives you like a, a big between this date and this date. Anywhere in between Ish. there, and they could be like hundreds and or thousands of years, depending on how close. Yeah, the chat. Uh, uh, Gresky says to, uh, carbon carbon dating is a total sham. It's been proven wrong many times. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust carbon dating at all. Uh, yeah, I don't either. That's the thing is that when they do stuff like that, they always, at least to us laymen, to me, they explain it as if they're like carbon dating. We got it figured out. This is one hundred percent accurate. But really. It's carbon dating. This is kind of giving us a vague idea in the ballpark, like literally a ballpark. And we threw a ball and go, that's it. A hundred percent. You know, at least they need to speak with it more of like, this is kind of what we're yeah. yeah you get at. dating from, sorry, uh, actually, ge geology, right? Yeah. Through layers and sediment. I think that's pretty, pretty sound. Dating. How it erodes and, and trees. Trees, and trees. Are, probably the yeah. trees are the best thing. Yeah. yeah. Because 
I, I would say carbon dating is the best as of right now in terms of dating something, but it's not the gold standard. They're getting, super accurate. They're yeah. getting close with this uh, radi. Uh, it's it's like a radiation dating through rocks that have. Um, they can tell like when the sun hit it last, basically. But that relies a lot on that rock never have been exposed to the sun before. Uh, and they did some of that in Egypt. Uh, but again, it would have to be a rock that has been buried until the time you date, date it, right? And we will never know that. We don't know if it, it have got disturbed in a flood, if it got moved by a human. Uh, but th they're in the early stages of, of, of that. That's pretty, pretty insane. That lousy, sexy carbon. What? <laughs> I'm reading the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, too context. many variables. I know Gary there's just there's too many variables. We just need to travel back in time. Okay, that's, that's all, all we need to do. That's all we need to go to Antarctica, easy, get easy. the crash ship, or get into the Deglocken and because, stop because, the because, because not, 90 million years is a long fucking time ago, obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 90 million years of ice is a yeah. long time ago but there's people who just think it's less than that a lot less than that it makes me think of this little meteorite that i have here can't really see it it's very small right so look, look at it. All right hold on there that's we go. what she said right that's cool and then it came with this little piece of paper it says, <laughs> what did say? and you know what it says it says nantan meteorite fell 1516 China, and then it says 4.5 billion years old. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? H how? How do they know that that's 4.5 billion years old? They're and why does the paper have to be so small? You know, like the paper have to be so fucking small. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was <laughs> originally it, it fell in China. You said they're really small. <laughs> it, it, no, they're small it was people. in this. It was in this little jar that uh, broke one day, and I I was really bummed. But I, I, Isn't that cool I've though? Had, like that's something that flew through this for space. Twenty five years, so well, for, yeah, millennia. Uh, just when we cool. caravan out to Vegas right, so. together, because you're going to do that with us, Garrett. Uh, we're, we are going to go to Meteor Crater this time. We're fucking going. We're going to make yeah. it. If, if we're going to miss, if we're going to miss the eclipse, crater. we're going. We're going to Meteor Crater, and they have. They don't have the meteor that actually crashed there, but they have a meteor. A meteor. Oh, like an approximation of it. No, they have a real or like an one, actual but it, meter. But it's not the one brought. that crashed. They never found the one that crashed in. Okay. The, in the, they never found it. It probably just evaporated. But um, or the guy who said he was looking for it said, "I never found it," and then sold it. <laughs> what you uh, talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? But they have one there, a real one there. And when you feel it, it's like pure iron. It's like pure nickel, and I, it's like metal. It's like pure metal. It's cool. Flying yeah. through space this, alone for this millions looks metal. of years. Boom. This doesn't look like a. Uh, a stone that looks like a, a piece of metal it's weird how can i it's miss like the a eclipse? metal stone uh i already saw the i mean there was it wasn't a full eclipse it was like the ring of fire one but it's pretty much a full eclipse and, and this uh, is gonna be a full eclipse now this one is this full one? eclipse and but it's pretty during cool. my meetup it's during <laughs> yeah I, the I same know. time bad timing bad timing I, I mean meet the fans See, uh, I'm. I feel I'll like meet the fans. Meet, meet the fans. It's gonna get dark for 15 minutes. I'd hate not miss meeting the fans and like Facts. missing my live for yeah. for be, it being dark for 15 minutes. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, look, it circles on and, the ground. And, and, and it's not three, it's not 4,000 years ago, so I'm not gonna like take off my clothes and dance around some pagan ritual and fucking <laughs> worry about the world <laughs> ending. Okay. Or oh, you'll be cursed for life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll Great. be the day the Antichrist is born, but you know, we got a while, while till he grows up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're fine. <laughs> yeah, right. We're good. We're fine. We're good. We're good. Gary, do you know about this in Antarctica? I do know about this. I do explain? know about uh, the sleeping Asian guy. And, and our, explain. <laughs> <laughs> the giant low. Asian guy fell asleep. We too low. Holy fuck. <laughs> this is Harry before he wakes up. I remember, like, uh, Fucking Wait, cold. Google Maps has been around for a while, but it really like hit a crescendo around what, what 2014, 15 chat. That's when everybody. That's what the when when the resolution was getting better, and uh, and and they're still out there. Like Mr. MBB three through three is a Provided. Google Maps guy. He's called an image specialist. He's Thanks, like he, he's a guy who fucking tweaks. 
around uh, i'll look and i i dude respect major respect because like it is kind of fun you know seeing lands you will like hey at any moment we can go on our computer and like go in the middle of the sahara desert someplace yeah. we'd never go never survive have you ever and, done it with a with a vr headset use no, google earth oh it's i gotta do fucking that. awesome because oh, you could fly you around and you kind of fly around like superman over the earth oh fuck i'm buying a vr headset dude, oh, you gotta that's pretty it's really cool. cool. It's really, really cool. Nah, you can like you know. manipulate it with your hands and actually move the planet, size it up. That's like amazing. Superman. That's fucking it's, awesome. It's, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, th no, this is uh, that's crazy. I, I, I think that's, I think that's a total accident. Now, face on Mars. I think there's is something. It pareidolia? That. Is that what I you call it? When uh, you see a face? Well, I can't wait. We got it. Okay. God damn it. We got to get Mike Barra on because he will break down your pareidolia argument like and tear it to shreds. It is pareidolia. So, so Mike Barra is former, uh, former uh, aerospace engineer, by the way. Former aerospace engineer. Knows his shit. What, what is the word called? Pareidolia. Pareidolia. Yeah. Where you like, I think that's it. Right. Like right there. That You, you see know. eyes and a nose and a mouth and you. Go like that's a face, yeah, but uh, stuff. what about the um, the dude in Canada, the Guardian? What's he called? You know, the, the pro profile know of the Native American with the elongated oh, skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's crazy again, total accident. Like, that's pareidolia, but that is fucking nuts because it straight up looks like uh, they even did it on Ancient Aliens, they did um. An artist made a, th a, th a 3D rendering of him, and it just looks like a fucking elongated skull uh, Native American. No, 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 no. This Up, one? Upper, yeah, upper left, right there. This one. Oh, damn, yeah. that looks straight up like his head. Yeah. And it's got the elongated skull. The That's top. in Canada. That's in Canada. That's wild. Yeah. He's got like the headdress, yeah. That one. Yeah, so so the uh the, the picture is from uh the is artist. Overhead view. That yeah, is like that is on maps. Google Maps. That is a, yeah. I forgot what he's called. Uh, he's yeah, he's called the Badlands Guardian. The Badlands Guardian. How fucking nuts! Wow, is that? that is nuts. He's got a shoulder <laughs> like right there. His there's his neck. It's like a clavicle uh, bone. We'll like, get, it's like I, so detailed. I, I, Adam, yeah, I think we should wild. get. I don't know if suspicious observers would come on, but yeah. Yeah, I mean. He's been on Jimmy's show, so I would I think he would love to talk about Jimmy was live he, last night. He talks about it all the time, so let's get him on. Yeah, I can't do girl, him, but um we'll try. I have commented on a few of his posts asking to interview him on this show, not on my show, but like because I feel like if he would fit in perfectly here. Yeah. Um I'm down. So, I'm but, totally but he hasn't down. responded yet. So I've well, tried actually. You're 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 just suspicious, blue-eyed Scorpio. <laughs> Everything about you is suspicious. Those blue eyes, man. Yeah, piercing. Yeah, makes me feel yeah, great. And, and the restraining orders. That, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to bring that up. I want to make him feel bad about it, but I, I, I do. But that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Blue-eyed Scorpio's oh, we, been around. If we here get him on, though, me. that that would be fantastic. That'd be I, great. I've done. I feel like I've done a terrible job of talking about the micronovas that I've heard from him. Right. So I'm just yeah. relaying. I'm, off the, I, I'm not even going off stuff. I'm just going off the top of my head of what okay. I remember. While him I'm talking of it here, we're going to do it live on the show. I'm going to hit up Mike. Do it live. Uh, I'm going to go. Hey, do it Mike. live. He gave me his phone number. I forgot to call him because I'm a dick. Uh, hey, Mike. Hey, when doing a show. Would you <laughs> I'm, like I'm live to now. Come on. Wait, I, I already found the Twitter. Never mind. Well, Sorry. Adam. Oh, I didn't even know you asked me something. My bad. No, it's all good. Because I was like, can't find him as a suspicious observers. Oh, yeah. It's sun weather, bro. It, it helps if I spell our show title right. <laughs> sun weather man. <laughs> Which I That's what do. he goes by. Oh, he opened his DMs. I can DM him now. Well, shit. Do you want to? That's new. You start first, and then I. You want can... me to send him? To... All right, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Are we, we doing? Yeah. Should I do this live too? Can We're you want me to send? Him? I'll send him a message. Hey, we'll we just wanna, I have content. 
for I, I just I just oh uh, X-ray girl loves us doing her job for her. That's great. I will message him. God. No, uh, no you, I actually, Mike you know Bear. what? I You're the producer Mike of the Bear. show. I feel like, but th we're talking about uh, uh, suspicious observers. Yeah. So you get him. I guess. Yeah. Get, yeah. Just DM him. him. You get him. You you do it. You do it. We, we got to get Serpent Bros back on. Professional. Get, I'd like to meet the Serpent Bros. I haven't Serpent met him yet. And and Ben both got back from Egypt, so we need to get them. Oh on. yeah. So pressure them, chat please yes uh, no this no, is correct no, no, no. we love them oh yes do that i'm sure they'd come back on they yes those they guys would. are freaking great They're awesome dudes yeah. hell yeah uh i thought jimmy did a good a live stream on the raquette structure yesterday i'm still not convinced oh, it's like I miss atlantis that. it's good it's really good watch it i'm, sure I'm not convinced up. either but uh i think the bigger news and, and jimmy brings this up himself is the flood that exposes that exposed the structure i think that's the big news like mm. it is clear that you can a, tell a large amount of water exposed that Let's and then there the sand job if you watch the sand job the grand tour i think that's some of the best footage we've ever gotten from Mor mauritania like ever and they have drone footage that looks clearly like flood footage like 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 uh not what not footage but um you know flood damage so this is the richard structure yep right here Zoom out. You could look at all this. Look at that. It's look at that. Just <laughs> right in there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Kind of crazy. I mean, I just. There's also wind currents. I don't know if the wind current would curry. Uh, wind, wind does yeah, that. Too. Sand out. That's, but like this is a, a lot thinking. of this I is mean, rock. Th no. Thousands of years of sand being like blown through there. Uh, because you know what? this. The, the wait, winds go for all the way over did to you South see America. the grand see, tour, this is right? where it would be great google this if i could just know. switch to the air okay. currents i gotta watch right that here. when you I, see I the valleys that. and and the, the clearly basically the ground was dug up it was okay. like the bedrock was just dug up um wow. all right and where does the sand that. come from? where does all this sand come from where, where does all it the bottom of a body of water it's so, a good point yeah. I never even thought about that. Like sands through the hourglass. So hey. are the days of our Atlantean lives. <laughs> the days of our lives. Yes. <laughs> oh, we should start an Atlantean soap opera that ends in cataclysm. We should. The one is in uh, the comas. Uh, Roland Emmerich was supposed to be doing a, a, a like a, a Atlantis? Atlantis movie. Yeah. Is he not? I thought he was. He is. Yeah. It's supposed. I mean. I don't know if it's in production. I don't know who's in it, but uh, I'll be there watching it. The gaze of our lives. Well, I mean, that's another one, Ronan the Crusader, we could do. Okay. One thing I will say, I'm looking at the air currents of the earth, and there of are... The earth. Of, the, of the earth. Of the earth. Of the and the earth. There, there are a lot of examples of it kind of going in that direction, flowing basically straight across. Here, let me present that. But another thing Jimmy points out is... If Here, you go, highs, they're coming right across that that land in that direction yep. but the, again it's the, a lot of this is stone this isn't just sand dunes we're talking about it's and also in the stone. off the coast off the coast yeah, uh, right yeah right off, right of off the, the coast, coast there's a the bunch of debris ocean. that goes into the ocean like yeah. lots for of two debris. miles for yeah for, yeah not for hundreds of miles it's not oh, for really? 100, nice wind. it's 150 miles wide holy shit okay yeah. a lot more than i thought so uh yeah and then you know uh, uh randall's pointed that out off the azores too that there is clear evidence of slides from tsunamis probably tsunamis or right. massive earthquakes and these slides go mile down those go like 10 20 30 miles in in it's just debris it's what like where's the that? evidence it's freaking underground or underwater and anything that didn't get completely destroyed by the earth got melted down and turned into swords or whatever else. Yeah, yeah. Know? Metal, metal doesn't last. Like metal either will deteriorate or it gets reused, right. recycled. Exactly. Ben, ben talked about it when he was on. There's like there, there's uh, it, there's a storage room you could fill with all the metal and a very small one that you could fill with all the metal you find found in Egypt over thousands of years. Right. Because it was reused, it was stolen, it deteriorates, stone. All the yeah, caps on, on the, yeah. the pyramids were gold, solid gold. Yeah. Got taken. Yeah. 
That shit happens oh, yeah. all the time. Every time, every type of precious metal, it's reused. It's precious. And uh, it, and and smelting and all that stuff is far older than we than we're told, right? For one, China was doing most shit before all of us, uh, any civilization. Like they they were so fucking advanced, and we know so little about them because they destroyed their own records. Like they used to be the best record keepers, and then one emperor one day said, "Fuck it, burn them all." <sighs> Because I'm the first now. Why do now. we do that? Why do we do yeah, that? I'm I wish we'd stop now. doing that shit. Because I'm the first now. History's written by the winners. Yep. I mean, and destroyed them, by even it. today, what, the first whatever movie, the first whatever villain. Yeah, dude. Right? Yeah, down to pop culture movies now. Yep. All the way back to 199. <laughs> All the way back. <laughs> Such a great show. The fir- great the f- I need that. <laughs> the first... Uh, Star Wars uh, uh, celebration back in 199. All the way back in 199. (laughs) Not even 200 years after Jesus. (laughs) Yeah. After Jesus. After Jesus. Let's get to some super chats, shall we? Oops. Yeah. Supity doopities. Hang on. Uh, I love this show because it's so fun to go into different topics like this that I would not normally do. Yeah. I'll just do it off the the ones that are safe. I'm with you. I'm with you, dog. Very fun. Hell yeah. Werner von Braun, paperclip. Werner von Braun. You know what? His uh, correct me if I'm wrong, chat. His girlfriend, concubine, mistress, or daughter. I can't, I can't remember which one. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's a different time, I, I guess. Can't, I can't remember. She used to make the circuit, the interview circuit. She used to do the interview really? circuit quite a bit. Yeah, she's been on. Uh, she's been on Art Bell and and uh, Coast to Coast. Who was that chat? Some blonde chick. I, I'm sorry to mix up like daughter with concubine, but it's like it's in some relationship with him. And yeah, I would uh, imagine not daughter, Linda right? Moulton Howe. It wasn't Linda Moulton Howe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was like some kind of blonde lady who worked with him. Yeah, it would make sense that it'd be his daughter because if this was. In the 90s. She's, she was young, and it was it. This was in the nineties. This was in okay, right. so yeah, that'd be daughter. early two thousands. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be his concubine. She'd be old. Well, everybody yeah. died Unless early back then difference. because they were all like smoking and partying and walking around like irradiated places. Like you know yeah, about yeah. The, you know about the Conqueror, right? The Conqueror. No. Oh yeah. They, yeah. So that's uh, considered Wayne, one man. of the worst movies of all time. John, John Wayne. Wayne playing Genghis Khan. So of the 200 crew members, nine, 91 of them were afflicted with some sort of cancer. 46 of them died of cancer at a very early age uh, because they filmed the movie at the White Sands test site. Yep. And that's including John Wayne. Including John Wayne. Yep. It was Jennifer Lawrence. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> She's the true that's answer. Great. That's it. Uh, Art Art Bell. People will know who I can't remember order. It wasn't Britney Spears. Stop. Uh, uh, Launch it. It doesn't matter. Uh, He's gonna bug him. He's going in. I get it. I get it. You got to figure it out. That's fine. I've got too much stuff in my head. Okay. And before we move on, though, do you think that there's some sort of crystal city (laughs) in Antarctica somewhere? Let's see if. Let's see if this works. Like below really, the ice? We, yeah, we didn't really talk about the Crystal City. There but she is. Supposedly a Crystal City. I, I, I was like, think it I, exists? The, the I Crystal City? With people living yeah. in it? I, I think, no, I think there's probably a giant underground chamber in Antarctica filled with giant crystals. Have you seen the caves see that, that they found in, that. Southern, in South America with the fucking yeah. giant 20 massive, massive. massive? Yeah, it looks like this Beautiful. fortress of solitude. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can't go down there long or you'll die. Extremely hot. Uh, Carol Rosin. Carol Rosin. I, and I googled blonde chick who worked with Werner von Braun. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually surprising. A blonde chick they worked. in the Nazis? Be like, no, oh, I don't know. There's so many she, of them. You, you would recognize her. She's She's been on, like a, I, I think, even Ancient Aliens. I think she's even been on that. What is she just like? Yes, my dad is a Nazi. Uh, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> really smart. She is a very complicated scientist. man. He worked at... <laughs> You know, it's compli- yeah, it's complicated. Very guy. complicated. Master of evil that we decided to to <laughs> have work for us. scar in his face. Yeah. 
It, I, there's no like we had to win the war, but like there's no defending that. It's like yeah, yeah. We, we hired Satan, so yeah, straight okay. up Nazis, yeah, yeah. Straight up fucking Nazis, yeah. The whole Nazi yeah. scar thing is is very interesting thing too because they in the young boy culture they would go to these universities and they would spar and and uh, fence, and they would intentionally try and attack the face and get scars and if you got a scar that meant that you're tough that's why a lot of the nazi elite had these cheek scars because warner von braun had it uh a lot of the uh like the ss officers would have these massive cheek scars because that's what they would do when they were in university it's like the perfect villain look yeah it is uh, Werner von Braun, the guy in charge of the German WW2 rocket program, wrote a novel in 1952 called Project Mars about the first manned mission to Mars. The main character is called the Elon. Really? No. Oh, what? No. 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 That that Project sound Mars. Real. Uh, that's no. No way. Project Mars. Oh, a technical tale by Werner von Braun. No. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Okay, we got half the, of it. The right? Elon. The Elon no, is there. Yeah. No yeah. way. The chat no. does not lie. Thank oh, no. you. Hey, we didn't doubt you. We just wanted to see it for ourselves. Yeah, the I Elon. Doubt it. Bro. I will admit, I doubted. All right. Bro. But I am ha- I was happily proven. Now is wrong. this book go up against That's the cool. the time traveler, the Baron book? Oh yeah. You know? I think they're right along the same line. That's freaking rad. What if Elon is the Antichrist? People are trying to put people up. chips in people's brains. I don't know, man. That's why I his Halloween. I like Elon, but he. I think he got in a little trouble over the weekend uh, when he? I think some of his people tried to sneak in a, a the transgender policy behind his fucking back. That's what I thought. Oh, I did see that. And yeah, uh, he was like, it. "Oh yeah, I don't know what's going on." Um, they they reinstated it, but he he said they fixed it and like. We can test this theory easily. Just misgender somebody <laughs> and see what happens. You know, I, it's first opportunity I'll get. Like if Mags Visaggio tweets something, I'll go, dude, Brian, Bro. shut the fuck up, dude. You're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> just to see. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't just misgender anyone. It has to be the people that get offended. Well, I did a dead this... name test and it was fine. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I did Ellen a, Page. A certain, a certain I did page. Ellen Page, Bruce Jenner. Marvel and Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Quantum Sledgehammer. I, that's going to get us demonetized. We got demonetized last week. Yeah, I saw it, that. We what did. How? Yeah, I, I requested for them to review it, and it yeah. came back still demonetized. Um, uh, these shows get demonetized more than any show. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, including they Friday like, Night Tights. They don't like wow. giants, I guess. Yeah. It is forbidden frontier. So it is. It's expected. Yep. Might have to do something but about that. Thank you, chat, though. You guys, you guys keep, keep us going. going. Don't need them fucking ads. Uh, I love that you all enjoy the Y files. It's my second favorite YouTube channel after Nerdorotic. Oh, nice. You're lying, but you like them more. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Of course, they Simp, are great. Uh, having chatted with them many times on Discord, I feel like I know them. Great people. I uh, can't wait till AJ's on Forbidden Frontier someday. AJ's a busy man. I can't wait. Oh, dude, they're, they're shooting out videos, high quality what? videos every single week. That's insane. It's a yeah. lot of a lot of work. As somebody who knows a little bit about the process, I mean, you guys do too. I mean, it's just it's not easy. Like uh, streaming, easy. Making an edited video that makes sense, not so easy. Right. Not so easy. Okay. Video essays. Especially their theirs are creeping up to an hour long, so that's that's an episode of television. Yeah, yeah. Which that's I'm okay ep- with. More long, every, hour every long, week. two hours, absolutely. Know, however much time you want to give. Us. And oh, and them. they're getting more views than your average television episode, like a lot. <laughs> yeah, more. they are. Oh, like in like three a million days, in a day. A million. It was yeah. like seventy thousand people watched the last one, the last premiere. Right. The last when premiere I, when I watched it. I don't know about the cryptids. That was yesterday's, but. Uh, there was 50, the well, it that. was just beginning and there was 50,000 people watching the premiere. It's amazing. Good to see. Yeah. Good to see. 
Uh, yeah. Why is it that grays make up only 13% of the galactic population, but are responsible for 50% of all the, the probings? Zorbu, want to explain? Asked Lingri. <laughs> That's a good one. You guys are kinky. Well yeah, done. Grays. Well uh, done, Lynn. Lynn, I, I'm not going <laughs> to ask where you got those numbers, but, you know, it's cool. I'm glad you got them. <laughs> that was great. Uh, we shall see if Garrett is still waiting in the woods to be probed by Zorbu once again, or if he will be back to work here. Well, he's back to work. I don't wait for Zorbu. Zorbu comes to me. Uh, oh, or in you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's not how probing works. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm an expert. Can yeah, they you? take. They don't. They don't. They, put they only in. take. They, 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 they never give. <laughs> they never so give. <laughs> they only take. Selfish love or Zorbu. <laughs> if we're demonetized, I bet it's this moment. It's because of this right here. Uh, Jared has donated five dollars and then says, "X-ray girl, hey." So he paid ten dollars. Simp. That's okay. See, he's all hey, hey What's girl, up, hey, hey girl, um, and she just says, White people, that's all she says. Are you a white person? <laughs> uh, hail forbidden frontier crew, hail to you, Meta Step, for two dollars. Thank you for being here, appreciate the donation. Uh, reticent voice who's been a member for nine months says, Philo is 25 bucks a month and gives you access to everything on the history webpage. Is it called Philo? Philo. Yeah, I saw that. Mm. I I'll say I have Vault. I've had I have History Vault, which does which I thought would put the new shit on like the next day, but it doesn't. But I have History Vault. But I've done the math, and it's cheaper to just pay twenty four bucks for the series. I mean, unless you go to Tortuga, right? But like, I'm doing the a la carte thing now. I find that to be far cheaper than. I, for one, I would never do this because Disney Plus is involved. But the only way you can get Hulu Live now is with a bundle of Disney Plus and ESPN, Ugh. so they can for, so they can fudge their fucking subscriber numbers. That's the only way. It's like eighty nine bucks a month, and it's like fucking cable bill for what? I'll Three watch two. I'll, I'll watch two shows. Two series, review yeah. one. Yeah, fuck that. No. So I am very much into like just canceling my streaming services when I'm done. Do, reviewing whatever I want to review or whatever, and I'll just find physical media. And if they don't make physical media, there's a bootleg. There's absolutely a bootleg to be found for everything ever made. You just got to. I sail the high seas a lot. Yeah. I'll just say that. Yeah, they they're, they're forcing you <laughs> yeah. to now more than ever. Uh, dig the damn mesa, Travis. Dig it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dig the mesa. It's you know he wants to dig the mesa. It was dragon. <laughs> It was He's Dragon like, that does not want to do I'm it. I'm putting my foot down. We can't dig. Dangerous. No digging. See, that guy's scalp, it came off his skull. We don't want to have that, that happen that again. Is, that was really weird and gross. That is up. weird. It happened that twice. That is weird. It happened yeah, twice. Yeah, that's weird. It did. They couldn't explain why. That That's weird. Oh, Brandon yeah. Fugel has promised it's going to be a very exciting season. I follow him on Twitter. Sure. And, and, I, and sure. I, am, I am a part of the Skinwalker fan club whatever it's called so i i do go on there they they have a constant live stream going of just the grounds and there's a little chat in there I, I, I go in there once in a while just fucking hang out you know why not he has the big trouble in little china knife that kurt russell has yeah that motherfucker he He's has the actual, knife. The, act the actual the actual the actual knife from the, from the movie that's cool well he said it's made out of wood it's probably yeah, the prop one it's the prop one yeah, because because I have a prop um, sonic screwdriver, but it's resin. It's Dang. resin. I also had uh, I I don't have it like anymore, from the shoot, I, like film used. Yeah, yeah, I have a film used. I also had the film used cool. saw from Spider Man Two, which was just resin. Really nice. It was just fucking resin. That's all it was. Yeah, mm. weighed about like a pound. I sold it. Oh. I sold a lot not of the, shit. Not the screwdriver though. No, I got the screwdriver. I got figured that. Yeah. 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 Not going to get rid of that. Uh, I've got um, an exact replica of the working prop from the 11th hour. So the, the male functioning sonic screwdriver that fully operational. It's fucking rad. And it goes, and everything. It's so that's fucking my rad. favorite stuff is 
yeah. like props for movies, like guns and things. Right over there. It's right over there. Yeah, props are good. I got a clipboard from uh, the eleventh hour. I got that. I got some other props stuff. I I, I have uh, I have a couple of um, pumpkin bombs from Spider Man too, oh. or Spider Man from Spider Man. Hell yeah! Screen use pumpkin bombs. Uh, but 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 but, but, but yes, uh, I I will probably just buy the series or. Tortuga, because they force you. Like I want to support. Sadly, yeah. I want to support Skinwalker Ranch, though. That's that's why I'll, I'll pay the twenty bucks. I like the show. I'll give them money. But I don't like uh, because as history's history used to like put all their shit on Hulu the next day, and now it's like months later. So your your only option is to get that what that fillo you were talking about and uh, or cable, which I'm not going to do either. Mm. I'm I'm no, tired of mm. yeah. I'm done. I do this for a living and it's 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 getting ridiculous like how much shit we have to have and now it's overlapping uh -huh. now it's yeah. starting to overlap and it's like ugh, what a headache yeah um, they're making it so hard to actually just watch content not that any of the content is worth watching shogun gotta watch shogun dude i, I freaking watched the trailer for it it looks rad shogun is rad is rad it's good what's that uh, streaming on uh FX? well for you what's on uh, hulu I think Tortuga. actually I don't even know for him. It's on Hulu. Tortuga. It's on Hulu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not to be off topic, but do you guys know anything about the documentary with Bob Lazar and some guys making in 3D and VR the hangar and ship that is being worked on, like a full replica? Yes. So I've seen a couple that. of videos. Yeah, I forgot what those guys are called again, but they are making they're making the 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 full on a 3D replica of the oh, UFO. Yeah. You yeah, could yeah. probably walk around it and maybe get inside of it. Yeah, there's there's a couple of videos on YouTube of them talking. God, what they were what were they called? I've seen them before. They've done shit before. They're well known. Uh, but they're talking to Bob Lazar about reconstructing uh, the UFO. I can't wait. Yes, Maverick six two six. Thank you. And we will cover it. We will cover it. I promise you. Bubba Doom one has been a member for eight months. I just wanted to say Neelix is garbage. I can Yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of Neelix to be honest with you. Not a super fan of uh Neelix was he Voyager or or Deep Space Nine? Neelix. No, 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 no. What, what are you talking about? Voyager. It, Voyager. it is Voyager. Voyager. Okay. Voyager. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Voyager. The cook. What's it? The dude with like the Yeah, I hate the actor who plays him. And I yeah, to, I just didn't I, I didn't like Voyager. I have to look, I have to see who it is. I like though. seven I of like nine Voyager guy. either. I like seven of nine's tits. That was it. I never watched Voyager because I hate the captain. Yeah. It I didn't mind tough. Tuvok. I like Tuvok. Yeah, I don't like the look of Neelix either. Yeah, Voyager. Off-putting. I, I, it just, it didn't capture me like the others. It's not, the, it, the premise is interesting. A ship that goes yeah. way too far off and is stuck out there by itself. Like, that's interesting. But uh, I didn't like any of the cast. I hate the captain. Uh, she sucks. Yeah, God, she was terrible. She was annoying as fuck. At annoying the, as hell. At Star Trek Las Vegas, the last year they had it, she was just went on an SJW. Or she did rampage on the stage. Uh, and oh, the actress. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, That's why your captain sucks? We need to fight hate. <laughs> it was like, bitch, talk about fucking Star Trek. Shut up. <laughs> um. Uh, a misconception about Antarctica is it's a, a giant landmass. It's not. It's more like northern Canada, a bunch of large islands. Very cool. I didn't even think about that. Let's see. Which? Uh, well, hold on. If that's the case, without then ice, it would make a lot of sense that there are underwater passageways that supposedly the submarine, like the Nazis, would go under Antarctica into like these freaking underground bases that they found or founded and if it's a bunch of islands that means there's like channels of water that goes up through. it's yeah there it i think that uh, that's a good description of, cool. of like northern canada there is a large land mass and then there's like a string of islands on the left and i guess that would really depend on like what about all the ice that was on antarctica so are you adjusting the ocean level for the ice that melt or are you just like 
the sea level is the way it is now. We're just removing the ice. I don't know about that, but uh, but yeah, if you look at it, it's it's that's a good description of it. That's a good description of it. Uh, during World War II, did Germany invent uh, invented the laser? I don't think so. I don't think so. Could be mm -hmm. wrong though. Someone a posted a someone laser. Uh, laser. Alan Hanley. If you're still out there right now, you fucking rock. All right, Thank because you, he, laser was invented in the late fifties. Okay, he just shared with me the freaking map. Okay, so the official laser. It, it did go back earlier. The flood that, but... flood map pro. Okay, so this is where Ooh, nice. we want. Yes, yes. All right, so minus a hundred. Well, it's not meters. Wait, wait uh, is would it be like one hundred and fifty meters? Is that four hundred feet? I'll get what, that what, back up. I don't know the old meters. Negative one hundred and fifty meters. I don't know. We're gonna just do that. I don't think that's right though. What would be four hundred feet? Let me just look up. Yeah, um, maybe that. Yeah, that'd be about right. One hundred and fifty meters is is that? Well, it's still it's got a ways to go. Twenty-one. What is it? 121. 121 Even less, is four, 400 feet? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not really as much as I expected here. Well, look but, at that, uh, though. Look at all that extra land, though. That's that's a lot of that shelf. Let's bring it back shelf. to zero. Yeah, all that yeah, up there at the, at the tip thinner. of uh, yeah, this whole thing. South America. Yeah, but it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be the, the island chain. Argentina! There, dude. Uh, there's a whole lot more Argent. Look at that. It's Look at all yeah. that. It's a lot of land. That's and a like lot we talk of about land. Every time is like where our civilizations based most of the time. Next to water. Next to the to the sea. It is life. I'm surprised. So if that got whoosh taken away, doesn't change much. I feel like doesn't change Antarctica much. But how can we tell? Because that's ice. Right. That we're looking at right there. Uh, uh that's cool. a lot. Of a lot of fucking land. Argentina Thanks got again. screwed. Alan Hanley, you're the man. Thank you, Alan Hanley. We appreciate you. You probably sent it to us. Gary Leach. Time. Love it when I catch right. Forbidden Frontier live. Took Gary's advice and wrote uh, the sort of comment uh, content I want to read. First fantasy novel, novel is out now. The Farmer and the Fold. Kiss, cool. kiss, kiss. Kiss to you, too. Very Thanks. cool. So I okay. hope it sells well. Just kidding. I hope it sells well. It's on Amazon. It's called The Farmer and the Fall. How about Forbidden Frontier show based on inspiration of Stranger Things, MK Ultra, and the Stargate Project? That'd be cool. I like that. We could do an MK Ultra. Yeah. Maybe little, we should time uh, it. Talk, uh, Island. Yeah, we'll time it with Stranger Things coming out. So, yeah, sure. And just get me talking about Stargate. I freaking love Stargate. Well, we, we have shows planned for days. I want to do the simulation theory. Uh, That'd be fun. Um, we definitely want to uh, compare the uh, the comet theory to the um, solar event theory for the Younger Dryas. I think that could be like a two-part yeah. special. We um, should get Ben on to explain the Novas to us. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But uh, Hanzo Sword 01 for $10. Great idea. Great idea. Believe in yourself. It's become a new member. Hail. Appreciate it. Epic fantasy for 100 Australian Australian dollars. Hail. Dollar reduce. There's an underground railway running across Antarctica. Supposedly, there's a maglev one that runs across the United States. There is a ruined German base uh, from the 1930s, which sprawls underground. There are two working nuclear reactors. Nukes are officially banned. Uh, E-caves uh, e leading to ancient tunnels at Erebus. Bird stuff is bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if I believe the bird stuff. I don't. Right. But uh, we, we talk about it. We definitely talk about it. Now, um, I don't know if they have two nuclear reactors, unless it's like post-world war ii nazis were still working there and they got the nuclear reactors going and they're just still going problem is they still need to be maintained supposedly they were found in the 50s in that uh yep. that base in brazil so they were working on something still down there yep oh i i 
the Nazis were alive and well post World War II. Um, there are many cases. There, there's cases of them uh, of a Nazi ship accidentally coming on shore in Florida. Uh, that's that's an old story. Um, you messed that one up. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Um, but uh, no, just go all the German towns. Like the shit. Yeah, absolutely happened. Uh, have you seen the massive mile deep caverns dug for the neutrino dune project in SD South Dakota? Just imagine the next civilization finding that 10 years later. That's what I was talking about. Those deep caverns with the, so I'm, the I'm guessing eye. SD is South Dakota. That's my guess. Wow. That w- or Santo Domingo or San Diego. <laughs> Uh, neutrino doom project let's look that up yeah i'm curious i want to see if they have images deep hey, underground we're... neutrino experiment is what dune stands for and where is it uh south dakota yeah okay deep underground here we go oh whoa I'm sharing this sure, cool sure. image of it that I found. Holy shit. What the heck? What's going on here? Okay, so proton accelerator on the right here, and then a muon neutrino production. You can see my yeah, you got particle detector. And then there's thirteen hundred kilometers between this underground particle detector an existing lab so there's two detectors so they're measuring how much like how much earth of, it can go how through, much maybe? earth it can go through yeah and maybe how they can s- let's see born. the goal of the deep underground neutrino experiment is to answer long sought open questions in the field of particle physics observing a violation of the matter antimatter symmetry by neutrinos would be groundbreaking uh, discovery and could explain the abundance of matter over antimatter that exists today. Determining whether or not the neutrino mass spectrum matches that the charged fermions will be an important input to our understanding of the origin of neutrino masses and determine how they fit in the standard model of particle physics. Cool. Um, well, I don't understand. No, that it's, much, they're shooting but... it through the earth and they're going like, hey, what is how much effect does it have going through the earth? Because um, they determine the, the chart that's underneath the graph. I think it's trying to say like how much of the detection of electrons it can. OK, dependent on I don't know what I didn't get time to read the axes, but mm. um... uh, it's so it's pr- probability of detecting electrons, muon and tau neutrinos. And there's three different colors and i think that's the three different things that they're trying so, to detect along the 1300 kilometers and what's the change from yeah the it's yeah, yeah yeah the the further along the less of one thing that it actually can catch but the more of something else it can find i, I don't know it's interesting interesting so the particles are changing throughout distance <gasps> oh. that's a good point yeah who knows well, it's, but it's the probability of detecting them. So, we don't know if that's what the data is as of yet. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, well, holy fuck. I, I didn't see that, but uh, now I have. So thank you. That's pretty cool. Damn, look at that. What is this for? That's this the is it. This is it? This is, this is the, the cavern, cavern they're, they're digging. Yeah. 1,300 kilometer cavern? Wow. That's a big that's ass wild. cavern, dude. Yeah, that is wild. How many paying, stories is that? Who's paying for that? Yeah, like four that stories is tall. That's a good question. Who is paying? Institute of Particle Physics is the one who posted this. It's in South Dakota. I hope they don't. Uh, well, yeah, it's underground. It's fine. No tornadoes. Holy. Underwater map of Drake Passage is very curious. So you should look at that. Thank you, Southeastern Kaiju, for $2. Uh, Japanese demon lord for five dollars says Germany didn't need oil near the end. They created a synthetic oil out of coal. Almost all the vehicles ran on it, <laughs> except they lost, so it didn't work. Uh, fucking Nazis. Uh, J.R. Leach for two British pounds. Look up Dorothy Edie and past lives. Worth the read. I uh, I well I know. 
about the past life stuff. It's fascinating. Don't know if I believe it. I saw that cruise ship uh, scheduled for Antarctica got recently turned away without an explanation to the passengers. That does happen. Uh, but maybe weather related. I think there's a meltdown at the Nazi base. Kel razor for four ninety nine. <laughs> you don't know the weather could be bad the, it, it could, could be, be weather, weather or it could be the nazi base 200 mile an hour winds my wife oh, uh, it is winter went on a, she she lived on a sailing boat for six months uh so like seven years ago and the crew that of the boat that she was on went through the arctic and then all the way down through the pacific all the way to antarctica and like got out and like went and walked around I don't know yeah. if that's legal, but they did it. It's pretty cool. I've seen some pictures. Uh, was strong Long enough voyage headwind. Any plane can fly uh, backwards. Prop planes fly slower, so not much of a headwind needed. Vertical landing is possible. Says Aaron Bacon for five British pounds. Interesting. David Weiss for the next stream. It'd be wild. A normie asks for two dollars. A lot of these streams would be wild. Gary, have you seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind Successor Taken by Steven Spielberg that came out in 2002? I did, but I saw it in 2002. I <laughs> didn't think much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, Close Encounter, or oh, the, the the spiritual successor to Close Encounters is actually E.T. Spiritual mm. successor. But uh, Close Encounters is awesome. A A Adam just thought it was meh. Josh Kelsey drops $20 and walks away like he always does. Hail Josh. Master of Reality has been a member for three months. The Perry Reese map uh, put Antarctica closer to the equator before the last major pole shift. Mm. And uh, that's where like I Adam think the was weird, talking about. That's where I think the weird stuff happens. I think our, our... Okay. Shit moves. You're a government agency. You go down to a Antarctica and you discover what beyond the shadow of a doubt that that fucker is not 90 million years old. It's, we're just hypothetically here. We're just doing this. Find out it's 12,000 years old. And then you find out beyond a shadow of a doubt why that happened. Do you tell anybody? No. Do you do you tell your you, public? I mean, especially if you, if you know that it's going to happen again. So yes. We talked about the, the Adam and Eve story. The CIA, freaking, they took that and hit it as much as they could. And they read, redacted the shit out of it out of a freedom uh, after a Freedom of Information Act. Uh, people got it to be unveiled, and it was still at like only fifty three pages. It's like a two hundred and something page book, and only fifty three pages were exposed. But it's the story of the Micronova hitting Earth, and, and, and it's like, and then these motherfuckers why would they redact that. And these why motherfuckers from the it? then the motherfuckers from the government go. Ah, uh, we we fucking we classified a lot of stuff back then. We just we so unredacted the whole thing. So classified. Why are like, oh, here, no. you can have the you can have Adam. a document with a few less redacted Adam, lines. Then people believe that they go see the CIA told us that they reject all kinds of stuff. So the science is settled. It's settled. <laughs> are you fucking crazy? I wouldn't believe a fucking thing they say. No. Nope. So, yeah, uh, so imagine they find out beyond the shadow of a doubt that there is a potential that somehow either through act, uh, an, a shift in the axis or the crust, what you pick, whatever your scariest one is, that this shit happens and there's no way to predict it and it could happen tomorrow. Do you tell anybody? No. No, what you do is you secretly dig a bunch of underground fucking tunnels for your elites. Yeah. <laughs> which is what they're doing. <laughs> and then they you let everybody else fucking die. Good good luck. That's what they that's the last thing we hear as they close the doors. Josh Kelsey for ten dollars. Hail. Unless he came back. He came back. It said, he picked it said up the something. bike this time. It said the words. It's Unless imposter. It's specified tropical rainforest. It doesn't have to be near the equator. This is okay. Okay. Good point. So it, was, it, um, it was a tropical rainforest, though. It was. But you're right. Okay. But you're right. You're absolutely right, Josh, that uh, there is rainforest. Uh, technically, a rainforest can be anywhere. There, I mean, technically, there's rainforest in... Uh, uh, God. It, it's, Arizona's got a rainforest. There's there's rainforest in California, but I, I I think it's like on the cusp. To be honest with you, mm. where it rains all the time, has to rain a certain amount of time of the year. 
but it doesn't have to be near the equator. No, it does not. It does not. You're right. Uh, there's also a lot of rainforest in the Pacific Northwest. Yep. Put it, uh, but it would be somewhere with more direct sun than the pole. Yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, lock crabs like pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, little rock crabs like pirates of the Caribbean. Ew. I don't like, I don't like crustaceans. I don't like seafood. I would starve going to Japan or I just go. Broke. I ate shrimp today. Mm. I love I shrimp pasta. Eat. I love lobster. Disgusting. Disgusting. Mm. Eat the bugs. Mm. Eat the bugs. The uh, ocean uh, bugs. Ocean homo, bugs. Homo sapiens have been around for about 800,000 years. Right, brother, to space shuttle in 70 ish years. Dude's Do wild. you think we were hunter gatherers for 795,000 years? No, crypto. Uh, fucking ridiculous no. to even think the about. The wheel that. of time. That's the what the wheels. conventional say. You need to check out Mario uh, Build Reps. He covers ancient structures, cardinal orientation to ancient poles. Ooh. Cool. Thank you, Decky69. That sounds cool. Uh, Eric K. again. A jet from Newark to Lisbon got a freak tailwind and was going over 800 miles an hour uh, just recently. Whoa. Holy Whoa. crap. Wild. Uh, wild. Um, wait, what was the plane we hit a tailwind and we came back an hour early? It was in the last year. I can't remember. It's one of my flights. All right, we got a good tailwind. We're doing all right. And we ended up be getting there an hour early. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. I think it was our flight to LA. It's our flight to LA. We got there like fucking so like, whoa, <laughs> that's not normal. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. And then uh, I saw the DEI pilots. Oh, no, I'm just God. kidding. My pilot's <laughs> Turn back pilot's around. Wide. Alpha Kenny body for ten dollars. Uh, please do a Phoenix Light episode. <laughs> Alpha Kenny okay. Body. Alpha Kenny body. Alpha <laughs> Kenny body. <laughs> Alpha Kenny body. That's good. I have never heard that one. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> good I mean, job. It's, it's a very interesting way of saying you're gay, but that's all right. We don't judge hey, you, man. Yeah. Okay, Alpha really? Kenny body. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that was a crazy time to be alive. It felt like disclosure was right around the corner. It was my first disclosure, uh, blue balling. Yeah, disclosures. Mm. Um, what we're gonna get is the government might be forced to admit some shit over time, but all the all the people who were pushing in the UFO sphere who are pushing disclosure, I think it was uh, lots of high hopes. Uh, it was also generating a lot of interest. And now that it's clear that there won't be disclosure, there never will be disclosure uh, from the government. I think that's good. We don't want it from the government because that form of disclosure, half of it will be a lie anyway. I want all the truth. And I think that comes from a private company, a private person. One of these days, somebody will be in the right spa space at the right time. And half of the people won't believe it. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's just the way it goes, man. But Kenny, Kim, we we have talked about the Phoenix Lights, actually. Yeah, we, we, we did have an episode, episode on it. Yeah. yeah. So it was a while ago. Uh, speaking of Linda Howe, I think the uh, Alaskan Triangle will be a great, interesting topic. Uh, there is a uh, yeah, all the there, triangles, all the triangles, a snakehead four for four ninety nine. There's quite a few, like Bermuda yeah. Triangle in Alaska. There's a Nevada Triangle. Southeastern Kaiju, uh, Wrangell Island, Antarctic, last known mammoth. Thank you, Wrangell Island. That's right. Mm. That's right. Uh, went to McMurdo a few times, only sailed there and the peninsula, but something to look into are the giant ice tongue that could be catastrophic if they move towards Chile. What's the ice tongue? Medieval syphilis for $10? Yeah. Look that up real quick, Garrett, please. Ice tongue. I know like giant pieces of ice have broken off, like fucking huge pieces of ice have broken off and floated out in the ocean. But that's probably pretty normal. Uh, the only U.S. ship capable of cutting Antarctic ice is 50 years old, and they won't fund a new one. Also, there's a caldera in the peninsula. There's a caldera in the peninsula. Says medieval syphilis for five dollars. Thank you very much. Uh Kevin Cleary. 
Remember, for 10 months, all this Antarctic talk makes me want to read at the Mountains of Madness. Yes. Uh, uh, Tekalili. Tekalili. Three miles is nothing. The coal is super deep in Russia was dug and it was 700. It was seven wow. miles. Yeah, but it also melted <laughs> and they had to cap it. Uh, that's the that's the, the deepest they've ever dug. Right. And think about it's that. The, the, deep, ice tongue. the deepest we've ever dug is not even eight miles. And it was it was damn near impossible. And, and it just melted and they had to cap it. But you're right. Japanese Stephen Lord. So what's this do? What is, uh, what's I think it this is the ice tongue he's talking about. Is it going to lick? Is it going to lick chili? I think it slowly uh, gets pushed. I heard, I heard chili get spicy. Wow. Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it doing? Exactly. Is it going to break off? Is it going to... Um, I'd imagine and... it's getting pushed from this direction, right? And it's like going down the so river. Those, those are glaciers. Yeah, that's yeah, a glacier. And they move. So what happens is uh, as it rains and snows and it pushes the glaciers down until it breaks off at the edge down there. So I um, guess that's the ice tongue. I'm not sure. Yeah, some. I, I was actually in the, the history or whatever, the Antarctic documentary I was watching. Uh, it was talking about something with the water, the ocean water touching the new ice that's coming. That that combination melts it faster instead of having like the sea ice that is normally in between i don't remember exactly um because i wasn't i was kind of half listening at that point because it wasn't really relevant but now i wish i listened more because i think that might be what that is referring to something about mixing with the ocean water and melting faster uh models suggest that the collapsing thwadi i don't even know what the thwadi is i, I looked up ice tongue threatening chili that's all I look Yeah, up. that's and how I got to mind. Wadis too. could ultimately lead to a collapse of the Western Antarctic ice sheet, leading to three meters of sea level rise via the process. Uh, that's okay. A lot. Okay. But there's ice growing on Antarctica too. So that there's there's parts melting and there's parts where that are getting more ice. Oh, they don't talk about that part. Though. They don't talk about that. I just watched Bitcoin go over 64,000 coin, doubled in value since last year in June. And now the same price is reached when it sank two bill. We sank two billion into it. Well, good luck, Bitcoiners. <laughs> good luck. I wish you all make tons of money. Be rich beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, I'm happy to be too old for that shit. Uh, winter fell for nine ninety nine. Many believe Heart Mountain in Wyoming is the cap that blew off the Yellowstone volcano. Uh, it's out of place and geologically upside down. It got blown one hundred miles away. Just a theory, a volcanic theory. Cool. Never heard of that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Imagine that. Something get some giant piece of rock getting blown a hundred miles. Hail, I grew up in Fresno County. Hail, Rob. I drove through there a lot, especially when I drove to Yosemite. Good old Fresno. Japanese demon lord uh, says carbon dating relies on radiation. If there's a radiation burst from space that hits Earth, it destroys the number. There's never that's that's never happened before. That's yeah. never happened before. That's never happened before. That's oh, sorry. More accurate. I, yeah, I was missing the sarcasm. <laughs> uh, ignore last idiots. It's on amount of carbon fourteen or carbon dating. And we don't need to be calling each other idiots. That's that's reserved for us. We're the idiots. Although you, I can't control you guys, you can do what you want. Uh, can't can't listen live this time, but I'll catch it tomorrow. Seek truth forbidden pioneers uh rook takes rook for 9.99 hey have uh, enjoy listening to the replay uh x-ray gary adam quarter black are you all you are all appreciated thanks for what you do uh maybe a baron trump time traveler episode or segment a segment would be fun john kennedy we kind of we talked about it a little, little bit, bit in our time bit. travel like three four episodes ago yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. welcome back x-ray girls uh glad you're on the mend there's more than one of you, I guess. Uh, you can call me white, uh, white people anytime. Gary, 
if you could afford it, would you be down for an expedition to Antarctica? I want to know about the pyramids. Uh, no. Well, going to the pyramids no. is a whole other I, issue. Yeah, I want to go to the Antarctica. Egyptian pyramids before. Uh, I have yeah, before no we go desire to, Antarctica. to go freeze yeah. my ass off in a deadly environment. I mean, maybe after I like go to Peru and Egypt and Turkey yeah, yeah, yeah. and Malta, yeah. Malta. Malta. I would rather go into a cave than be in the Antarctic out of safety. Yeah. So. Caves are pretty freaky. They Indonesia. are freaky, But I don't yeah, know. Well, yeah. Step somewhere and then fall into a hole and then maybe not die and die slowly in the ice. I'd like to go to Egypt first. I just don't know if that's doable, but Egypt first, Greece, Turkey, and that's this order, Peru, Bolivia, like just all of South America pretty much definitely uh, last Indo indonesia would be like later because that would be yeah. rough but i I still want to go True. but it would be totally rough you know um it's on, I was, it's on the list though oh okay so in australia they have the i was watching the ancient aliens cave art one because it came on after the antarctica one and they have um i forgot what they're called but uh they have the cave paintings of the white guys with the long noses right um and I'm like, God damn, they look like those fucking megaliths mm -hmm. in Indonesia that look like the, the goons from fucking Popeye. They they got the they got the big eyes like that an we owl talked about before and yeah. the long nose, and which looks like the, the Earth man from Gobekli Tepe, which looks like uh Easter yeah. Island. Yeah, look at that little squidwards. They've got that. They've got that little squidwards. They've got that long fucking nose. That's so weird. It is weird. Yeah, it's weird. It is fucking weird. Even ones they kind of mapped out but didn't actually fully make. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I've seen them before, and I just never made the connection before. I'm like, God dang. There's something to that. There's something to that. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, nothing. Just want you to call my name, uh, Jaffa Cree, <laughs> Shalakik, Nemron. There you go. The Stargate reference there. You did a welcome double back. At, uh, welcome. <laughs> uh, paranormal operator for twenty dollars says welcome back, X-ray girl. Glad to see you are on the mend. You can call. I've I already read this one. You did a double, so you doubled. This one. Oh, this one is just girl. Yeah. yeah he oh, he fixed it. corrected it. You you didn't have to put another one in to correct it. <laughs> like we got you. Thank you though. Thank you. Thank you. Uh check out the photos I put in the comments on your Forbidden Frontier tweet. Something interesting for sure. Gotcha. Love the show, guys. Someone make an outro. We have an I outro. think we talked about it. It was the face. Is that what Yeah, it was the face. That was from the movie guy. Uh he can't be the Antichrist. Antichrist will be a Meta step for uh we we didn't say what religion the antichrist would be or not i don't know what a you're JLL trying to get is. us to demonetize Dang, bro yeah i'm just saying the antichrist is going to be born it might be technically i don't know if in the, I think Bible the antichrist is going to be atheist i don't think it's specifying i think the antichrist is atheist <laughs> okay. i don't know i don't fucking know Last time I went to Sunday school count, was like man. 1980 fucking two or three. <laughs> wow. Before I outwardly, was even born. Outwardly hey, would be. Chris Benoit. Cool. Chris Benoit. That great Father of the problem. year for five Canadian pesos. Any chance of a show about looking into false reporting on celebs and their family's deaths? <laughs> and who is behind these horrible father hating lies? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Wrong. Messed up. Uh, paranormal operator thank you for becoming a youtube member we appreciate you yeah. balls 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 i love balls says vertigo all right uh papa bear odin ten dollar super sticker hail uh kimmy cat for ten dollars love the show watch from the beginning would you like to see randall car i would like to see randall carlson on as a guest we would too one day yeah one day i'm sure I, that guy probably gets so many requests like we haven't officially requested it yet. We've had a couple people say they'll reach out, 
but we have not officially requested. Maybe we, maybe it's time we do it. Maybe it's time we try, you know, cosmic I think so. Summit? Uh, it was supposed to be a cosmic summit and it didn't happen. And, uh, this year's cosmic summit is like, isn't it right after fan expo? I think so. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. The entire Colorado plateau was a C at one time. That's why Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico have the rocks they do. The West has a history of odd water formations. Yes, it, it does. It does. Texas was all the bottom of a sea. Primarily all of it. And you can tell because uh, all our it, it's all just um, limestone. That's it's just all this place is is limestone. And I'm on a giant aquifer. So there's so much stone here. Like when something he like if there's some construction close and they drop something heavy, it fucking rings like a bell. It goes. Bring! Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. And there's a lot of construction here because it's kind of a boom town. Uh, all right. Uh, how you doing, Adam? You got a bail? Yeah, I'm uh, I am running out of steam. So it's, it's almost three. I gotta go. Uh, tree, but it's tree I in the morning. It. Tree. Yeah, hey, it's three. Hey, when's your daylight savings time? Uh, when are you uh, soon spring actually. forward? I yeah. can't wait to get rid of. We should just get rid of that completely. As it's a gay. human society. Yeah, it's we dumb. Gotta get rid of it. Um, but sometime in March, sometime soon. Um, uh, but it's a week from today for us. It's a week from today oh, okay. for us. Yours is March thirty so, first, Adam. Oh fuck! What? So wait. You're kidding me. Wait, does that mean it's you? I'm gonna have to be. It's uh, an you're springing an hour forward. Later. Yeah. Nah. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like for how long? Because like all weeks, your shows are gonna be like. Fuck. All right. Well, is it same for whatever. as too? Is it same for the it's UK? Worth it. uh, I think so. I think it is, know. right? Yeah. Spring forward, UK. Yep. March. We, we, we all. Why are we not on the same? same? Page. We need, you know what? Can you identify as American and just do it anyway I, two I, weeks early? I, I, can totally do that. I, do, I do identify as American though. <laughs> you know, I, I, okay. I but mean, can you identify I, am, I, I only I only fly one flag. Can right? we can right. we identify as somebody who yeah. does, no longer recognizes daylight savings time? Please. Can we just never I get I can just refuse to change my clock and everybody else's sure. time will be wrong compared right. to mine? Yeah, yeah. Just don't just don't change your clock for a couple weeks. All right. And and Damn the man. <laughs> so I don't Two things to that need to go stay. away. Daylight savings time and taxes. Yes. Yes. And on Tax, that note. Taxes I, first. IRS needs to go. All right, buddy. Take it easy. Garrett, see you on I'll Facebook. see you tomorrow Monday. night. See you tomorrow. Chat, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Later. Adam Krigler, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Luis Suarez for $10. Here are my two cents for $10. That's a lot to pay for two cents, Luis. Uh, how about a monthly or bi-weekly book club on UFO, ancient civilization, government cover-ups, and uh, schizo topics? I, schizo topics, I, uh, I'm not against that, but I think we're going to do the Art Bell Club first. Yeah. But we need to find a way to get everybody these episodes. So what we'll do is what, yeah. we'll find episodes that are already on YouTube because there's a ton of them that do are that already way. on YouTube. And we'll do it that way. And then Here's we'll... notification, we'll, by the way. Who else heard the notification? I did. Okay, so it's X-Ray Girl. It's X-Ray Girl. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Yeah, so we, I, I like that idea. Finding episodes that everybody can listen to together. And then we and, talk uh, about but it. But then we'll do the book club. Because uh, actually, in that in that lecture, which I will share in the community section when it's done, um, David Hatcher Childress wrote like three books over COVID. That were all kind of concerning Arctic UFOs, bases, yeah. and, and all that. And they looked fascinating. So I'm I'm not against that, Luis. But we're gonna do the Art Bell Club first. Yeah. That's gonna be first. It's, it's also easier to access than books in educational books, at least. Yeah, well, with an art bell show, you're gonna have all the ads cut out, thank God, which is not how I used to listen to them. And you you get like two and a half, three hours, you can listen to it, and it's fucking great. That's great. You run that at nope. like 1.2 speed, you know, just a little bit faster than normal. 1.5 is perfect. You can me. get through that. Mm -hmm. 
I uh, have you ever seen Mo uh, Monster Quest or Mystery Quest on History Vault? Yes, I have. Grand Ad uh, Grand Admiral Adam. I've seen most of their show. Oak Island. I gave up on a long time ago because I I never got it. I know it's some Templar shit. I'm just like nah. They're like a pirate or something that buried some treasure on an island and then said that's where all of his treasure went. Uh, keep digging in the hole. Tuvix did nothing wrong. Says Tricky. I hate Tuvix Neelix is. too. I'm in the right room. Yes, you are. I, can't, I couldn't stand Neelix. I really hey, his character design. Everything. Yeah, everything about it sucked. Thomas Pickett, thank you for becoming a member. Hail, brother. Rob Cortez for $1.99. DS9 was the best Voyager. Was a guilty pleasure. Yes, DS9 was the best. Uh, did good. you know Kate Mulgrave? was a backup check out the footage of the first captain voyager yeah it was uh she was hot too and uh, aaron gray was considered too they didn't go with them they didn't go with either of them kate mulgrew uh uh she wasn't uh terrible looking but this is how she talked all the time and it just annoyed the shit out of me it's like <laughs> fuck contrast with the actor that played cisco when they ask him about yeah. diversity and all that crap he's like look i'm just an actor i just want to act you know he's very much like uh, morgan freeman in that in that way uh love the show ladies and gents you mentioned google ai uh truth stream media did a great video yesterday on the topic and its dystopian effects literally 1984 trying to control us and people cheer it on uh fan man 81 for ten dollars you're right uh uh, Babylon B did a great headline saying Google promises uh, to be uh, to be more racist and secret in the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, you saw it happen. <laughs> oh, so no. good. Do that under cover. Uh, <laughs> oh God, uh, the singing Tigs for ten dollars. Anybody watch the cat? uh rogan podcast i'm halfway he through was, oh yes getting uh, there he was very stoned but cat went down all sorts of rabbit holes from yeah, illuminati great. to pyramids it's interesting despite the fact he seems pretty full of it who cat he's crazy well, he's legit fucking crazy super high extreme high talk but it was an interesting conversation nonetheless it was but it was like they get on a weird topic and it's like cat would go let's go five times weirder yeah like every let's time go five times weirder and then not make any sense. So and yeah. it's like, bro, like I want to hear a sober cat. I think he's on to something. I think I don't think he's he definitely he's is into all the stuff that we're talking about and yeah. interested in. Yeah, I, I I love it, by the way. I love it. It's just it was a little hard, but I'll I'll watch the whole thing. I watch pretty much every Joe Rogan episode now. Like when I, Joe Rogan goes, Is this weed talking? Like, you know that it's pretty bad. <laughs> you know it's bad. Uh, th th yeah, that's, but they're, but they're not wrong about the, like, um, it was with cat, right? Or was it with somebody else? Joe Brogan just breaks down fucking woke Hollywood. Like what, how yeah. everybody just capitulates to it. I bookmarked it. I bookmarked it. Uh, and it's, it, it's, um, it's, it, it's from one of the offshoot JRE clips. It's not the official one. It's like oh. Jerry University or something like that. It's woke Hollywood. And Joe Rogan just breaks down everything we say, which is, you know, most people aren't woke. Most people are just, they capitulate. They've got their head down and they're willing to do whatever they can to be famous because it's such a lure to them. It's such an elixir. It's so addictive to be part of that town, not even to be famous. Okay. I mean, I saw it in the levels I worked in. To have a name badge that's Technicolor or official company like Disney, man, people wrap their entire identity around that. It's fucking weird. It is weird. Because, like, when I went down there, I saw it as just a job. Um, and people, like, for one, I had fellow coworkers hated me for how quickly I got the job because I took a four-month course and I knew a guy. And I got this like high heck? ranking technicolor job that people went to like, fucking oh. school for for four years and they fucking hated me. Like, Trust get that me. Gary guy. Oh, they fucking hated me. I'm like, yeah, I went to school for four months. <laughs> <laughs> I Look at this a badge right here. Yeah, just to get that technicolor badge so I could work at three in the morning. <laughs> Editing. Editing. <laughs> not getting credit for it. You know? Yeah, great. Prestigious. 
prestigious. But yeah, it's they really do break down like uh it's just a lot of it is and this is how the countries run. It's a lot of non comfort people are just non confrontational. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. You don't want to be super confrontational. You don't want to be like me. I'm kind of confrontational. But um there's a point where you do have to speak up and many people don't because they're afraid of lo losing that fucking shitty job <laughs> or getting banned from Hollywood. Who gives a fuck about getting banned from Hollywood? Oh, it was Tom Green he was talking to. It was Tom Green. The Tom Green interview is pretty good because that's another guy who's just kind of bailed out. He's, By the yeah. way, Tom Green. He's got a ranch and he's raising cattle and shit. Like he's out on the farm in a good way. Uh, Why am I blanking on her name now? Uh, 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 oh yeah drew barrymore drew Bar drew barrymore broke up with T tom green when he got diagnosed with testicular cancer that's what a piece of shit that bitch is damn that's, that's what a up. piece of Ouch. shit oh that bitch God. is so don't feel fucking sorry for her when she's going up against the strike and stuff fuck that cunt um yeah but uh yeah yeah and any wow. you know he got and he also, you know what, he got eaten alive. And there's some people, you know, there's, there's, well, there's some people who just can't take Hollywood. You're right. There's some people who just can't take constant fucking humiliation all the fucking time and have to put up with it. And Why the negativity. So many of them are neurotic in the first place. And it just dials it up to 12 because their characters are crushed. It's all about power and domination. And what, what's more powerful and dominant than fucking Marxist ideology? So it's falling apart, by the way. The whole ecosystem of Hollywood is falling apart. And and they they briefly talked about, like, Joe moving out of the belly of the beast and saying, fuck it. Now, moving to Austin's not much better. But basically taking his operation on his own, wherever the fuck he wanted, and people had to come to him now, uh, that that's where it starts to fall apart. You know, like, Texas has a lot of podcasters. You know that? Oh, yeah. A lot oh. of fucking podcasters. A lot of podcasters, a lot of content creators are in Texas. And a lot of them came there because of Joe. Uh, da, 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 da. Ladies and gents, you mentioned Gemini. Truth Stream Media. Did I, did I read this one? Uh, uh, I don't think so. No, okay. not yet. Not yet. Uh, Truth Stream Media did a great video on the darker implications of them trying to control your thoughts. Also, one of our hosts just finished Solaris. Book 1961, doing 49 more. Much love. Hail. A lot of books. That's a lot of books, brother. Uh, Albatross for $5. Nah, man. I want a journey to the center of the Earth world under the Antarctic ice with dinosaurs and mammoths and blackjack and hookers. <laughs> that's what I want, too. I mean, that's actually yeah. what I want, too. Especially blackjack. CAI told me it was raining on me. I would look for the uh so, the storm giant peeping on me, peeing on me. So why did I say peeping? <laughs> the peeping. Pee -pee. pee -pee. He's got the peepee. -pee. He's got all the peepees. Pee -pee. pee -pee the streaming wars is so fucking great. The South Park one. He's got oh, the peepee. -pee. <laughs> yeah. He's got the peepee. -pee. Uh, Lee Monger uh, Bear is gifted five neurotic live memberships. Hail, brother. Thank you, uh, Captain Ridiculous. Awesome, awesome sauce. sauce. So Oops. Captain Ridiculous what Awesome Sauce. You all need to make a stick sticker merch. I mean, Pronto, Forbidden Frontier, kicks ass. Oh, and don't forget about the Black Pyramid in Alaska. Why does it got to be black? Want a little one right here. Okay, we're working on it. We're working on it. We, we, we've we kind of done... Listen, I, it's just mostly me and, and Garrett helps you out. You and Melissa? So, yeah. So we do like little stickers and stuff and we give them away. Right, we we do mostly do swags, but now we're gonna do like we're gonna set up a store and have like just t-shirts. Garrett's actually helping us with that. These Garrett's Garrett's Garrett, no dude. Okay. I know some got people. your dude who's Hi. gonna help us with that. So we're 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 gonna get that going. We're gonna get that going uh, by the end of the year. Simon uh, Simon Ho for two Canadian pesos. Ice tongue is what nick uh, what I nicknamed my ex girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one baby i <laughs> love the show just got my art bell recordings so much on one little drive the goat yeah it's pretty you, amazing you can get it's them out pretty, there. yeah you can get them you can get them if, if i felt it was okay to freely share them and not get in a lot of trouble i would i would 
but I get in a lot of trouble. Somebody would tell. Not one of you guys. Some one of the people who doesn't like us. Yeah. I know there's people who don't like us. I, I think it's crazy too. I think it's crazy too. What's there not to like? No DLS in Arizona. F that nonsense. Oh, you guys are smart. What's a DLS? Daylight savings time. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't do it there. They're they rebels. don't do it. They're Which fucking the rest smart. of us would catch on. Except when it comes to counting their votes for governor, but we won't talk about that right yeah. now. <laughs> I can't really. A lot of other states are also messed up. Yeah. Our governor doesn't stand for anything. Just rolls. Mark he's sometimes been, stands. He's been pretty good, actually. The Greg Lately, Abbott. He's been a lot better. Yeah. He's been, yeah. yeah. He's making some bad decisions during the old coof, but uh, it's come back. He turned it around. Though, like, he op- like the one of the reasons we came here is he did open the state back up. That was pretty much our deciding fact because it was between uh, Arizona, Tennessee. I was n- sorry, Florida. Never going to go there. <laughs> Ne- Why? Never gonna go there. No. Could it be the giant um, pythons in the Everglades? Actually, or no, the giant it, or the big dinosaurs? I'm not an East Coast guy. I don't want to be on the East Coast, like ever. I don't ever want to live on so the like East Coast. Like the sea. Sea. Yeah, I just I need to be somewhat in oh, okay. proximity to the West Coast. That's where I grew up, and I like the Southwest. I I, I would if if Arizona wasn't so filled with Californians, I would have stay. I would have gone to Arizona because yeah, she came to Texas. So. So I came to Texas. And all the fucking Californians followed me. Dude, it's been an epidemic for like decades. It so has, but Californians. Like, I think it's it's based Californian, so I think it just kind of hopefully, hopefully, I think it works things out. Well, dude, liberal Californians don't want to come here now. Good, this is everything it's they place. fucking hate, and it's a it, horrible place. It's, it's a horrible filled place. with churches and guns and chupacabras, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's fucking terrible. It's awful. You would hate it here. Weed's illegal. It. You could get arrested technically for weed. How are you going to live your life? How are you going to live your life? Don't don't move here. Yeah. You can't go get stoned on your fucking edibles down the street. You don't want to come here. Alex Jones lives here. Alex Jones lives in this state. And chimeras. <laughs> <laughs> the chimera. And the chimeras. I was wrong. My bad. It appears that carbon dating fault has to do with lava and the formation of rocks and carbon. Sorry for my misinformation. Japanese demon Lord. We forgive you. No need to apologize. You about to know one. Andrew reader for 10 Canadian pesos off topic yesterday was Bon Jovi 67, 60 second birthday. I have no problem with John Bon Jovi being alive. I have a problem with him making music and I wish he would retire. (laughs) And the fact that 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 piece of shit has lasted this fucking long is so many uh, greats we've lost. It explains 81 million votes for Joe Biden. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> explains Swifties. It explains a lot of yeah, things. You know, yeah. There's you know, a lot of Swifty crossover no with the John taste. Bon Jovi. Family. Yeah. Regarding Oak Island, they're about to break into a tunnel uh, almost 100 feet below ground. Then a hurricane hit. Been watching it for years. I mean, like the the characters are compelling. It's just like the uh, the, I, subject the subject matter, matter is just it just doesn't mean dick to me. I, it just doesn't. Some crap um, in a hole. Like I okay. like all history, I do, but my strong preference is ancient, ancient history, ancient history. Um, for some reason, I I can't tell you why. Probably because there's more mysteries involved with that. Uh, send drinker to check out Antarctica for us. He would go. Drinker's like a man's man. Like he'd drink his bottle of whiskey or whatever, and go down on a power, like in some speedboat, you know, some James yeah. Bond speedboat, and go down there. Uh, Driving a Land Rover. I'm not saying I'm know. not a man's man. I'm just not fucking stupid. I'm not gonna go someplace where I'm gonna die. I've, you know what? I've already fucking risked my life enough. <laughs> like I'm good. <laughs> I've I've taken too many chances with my life, so I'm just trying to like. Just be aware of my karma, okay? You know, don't take unnecessary plane flights. I'm not going to climb up some fucking cliff when I can climb up the back of the mountain or just not climb it at all. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go to countries where I'm going to get murdered. Not going to jump out of a perfectly good plane to get some fucking adrenaline rush. 
not going to do any of that stupid shit. Not going to swim with things that'll eat me. Yeah. But I wouldn't back out of a fight, you know. Uh, Helga. Helga. Welcome, Helga. As a new member. Uh, bad Gamergate. For, Gamergate's back, baby. Gamergate's oh, full back. Full force. Full force with Sweet Baby Inc. Holy shit. Found you. I'm seeing some old accounts pop oh, up. Oh, they're on like Twitter popping now. back in. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. Look at it go. Look at him go. Any thoughts oh. on Bill Cooper, Mystery Babylon? No, but I'll look into oh. it. Mystery Babylon. My grandfather was an officer under Admiral Byrd, handpicked by him. We have a photo album from of those oh, from his good. adventures. The UFO thing is total bullshit. He passed away a while back and he hated this UFO shit. Just FYI. Gotcha. All right. Okay. But what about yeah, what about the center of the earth shit? Mm-hmm. Now we do have some uh stream labs. Let's do it. You can read uh, them. Zorbu for 25. Zorbu! says, I threw out the leftover hash browns this morning because it really wasn't enough to save in a container for tomorrow. But a, but man, was it a close call. Anyways, just thought I'd share that. Not sure why. Thank you, Zorbu. Was um, that after you probed Garrett? Why don't you give me the hash browns? Yeah. I mean, hash browns aren't good for you, but they taste good. They taste really good, especially in the morning. After um, you get probed. What the frick, man? You, throw this you would one. know? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know because he threw the hash browns out oh that's true that's true dang dang it zorbu um and we also have bigfoot with 25 dollars. says uh bigfoot is drawing a blank tonight mm, what to say how about give a hoot and don't pollute what who said an owl woodsy well f him it's my catchphrase okay <laughs> yeah he stole it from you Sorry, the owl stole that from you, Bigfoot. Yeah, he really had nothing tonight, Bigfoot. Sometimes it's just... <laughs> it... big old big big noggin doesn't work, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple other super. Thank you, Bigfoot. Uh, Basil five seventy eight for five dollars. Gary, I live in the west coast of Florida in Central Time Zone two, farthest east of the American West Coast. Wow, that makes my brain <laughs> my brain hurt. Only we are based in non soy. No, no, you're uh, based in Florida. They're fucking, there's based motherfuckers in Florida, and I love Florida. And I visiting it is wonderful. And Garrett and I are going to go back soon with our kids so we can true. actually enjoy Universal Studios. And, ride Hagrid. Yeah. And ride Hagrid. Double team Hagrid. Uh, well, <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? that means That's what we're doing. Like... Oh, shit. And we high five after. <laughs> Lord Dury? <laughs> or maybe during maybe during we'll just see how the mood takes us you know we're gonna see if we survive vegas okay yeah yeah <laughs> survive vegas the russians have a bar in antarctica where the ladies drink for free if they if they hand over their bras destination truth went there seriously based. very nice based you don't need bras in antarctica i mean your nipples are probably like hard all the time anyway so it's cold <laughs> it's not like this going to do any good. Let's wear another jacket or something. What? <laughs> Nipples get hard when it gets cold. Let's just laugh. Imagine it's when it's 50 a below. Biological fact. Yeah. It's science. The science is settled yeah. on that x-ray girl. <laughs> these, these nipples are settled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with the Russians on that one. <laughs> no, bro. That should be at every bar. <laughs> I think that's a that pretty good rule. Bar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good bar. That's a pretty good uh rule. I don't even go to bars. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I might start drinking coffee at the bars. Um, um oh, Melissa's in there. Yeah, shrinkage. I'm... Yeah, let's we don't talk shrinkage. about that. I was in the pool. <laughs> I was in Antarctica. It was 50 below. <laughs> <laughs> uh we went to the San Antonio Coffee Festival. It's like a wine tasting, but for coffee. Oh. That sounds and pretentious we as hell. We're fucking jet. It was crowded as hell, and we were jacked on coffee. By the time we got, it's like <laughs> it's like, like, like I did a bunch of fucking lines of blow with my entire family, dude. We were all <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Then we crashed, and we all oh, you all just take a day. nap. Or yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Fun. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, but so I saw the Jared. Saw Jared there. He shook my hand. What's up, Jared? Jared, that was in the chat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. He just said, I'm a fan. 
he uh, came up to me at the coffee festival, gave me his tickets, and we got more coffee and got fucking jacked. <laughs> uh, Antarctica, Alien Secrets Beneath the Ice by Linda Moulton Howe talks of stargates that you uh, that go to other worlds. Seasons one and seven of Stargate discuss this. Oh, yeah. Is that what it's based off of? Linda's yeah, Stargate, Stargate like lifted again from an Arbell episode. From That's Arbel, right. You, you talk from about Arbell that. lore. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's lore he talked about. It's not like he came up with it, but that's where it really hit the the, the zeitgeist, the cultural zeitgeist. All right, and this will be the last one, right? I think so. I'm, I'm still hard from last week. <laughs> when Gary said, Ara, Ara, you're right. X-ray girl, he better did, uh, X-ray girl, he did it better. Yep, and you he's going to, till next week at this rate, <laughs> he did it again. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't understand. Uh, I don't that's understand. A, that's a thing a lot of girls do when they're trying to be all um, anime, cute, sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aura, yeah. Aura thing? Yeah, and uwu and all that. So. I hate all of that. I hate yeah, it all. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Yeah. The weeb <laughs> shit. I imagine you were wearing a French maid outfit while you typed that. While you were a dude. <laughs> while you're being a dude. <laughs> With cat ears. Hey, I like the cat ears. I have cat paws. You're a girl. You're, you're, you're Asian. <laughs> and an Asian. <laughs> so it makes sense. Uh, oh, no. Hey. What is oh. happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to get out of here. Uh, what do you got coming up, Garrett? Uh, this Tuesday on Normal World, I'm going to have Chris Gore and Alan Ng on the show, X-Ray Girl's father. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk about all the D-Files leaks and just the general state of Hollywood. That's going to be fun. Are they going to yes. be in studio? Both of them? In studio. Both of them. I got them both. We flew them out. Cool. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. So check that out tomorrow, Based Aft Monday with Adam on his channel. And then after I do a little Resident Evil stream, we're playing through the first game. It's difficult, but it's fun. So check it out. I'd go up, but like I have to beat Nan Vask. That's true. I have to be. It's getting close. Prioritize. So we'll I see him it's... in a month. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see him in a month. You know. Okay. But it's time to put Vask down. So. You know. Dan's gotta, going gotta, down. Got to got to win decisively. That's what mm, I say. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> I love Dan. Uh, I would honor the bet if I lost, but I want to beat him senseless. <laughs> so <laughs> just embarrassing his idea. Okay. Uh, I'll try not to go gay. I managed to go through prison in San Francisco without going gay. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gay. <laughs> San Francisco and prison. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I know Dan was making some good arguments, but I'll just point out like I did in the square Up today that uh, married with children, single, never seen him with a girlfriend. Always shows up to dinner with his roommate of 18 years and best friend. Life partner? Life partner. Named Jorge. You're making a lot of sense right now. <laughs> okay. <so. laughs> All right, Dan. Just, All right, Dan. just be honest with us. <laughs> X-Ray Girl, what do you got coming up? Uh, tonight, I'm going to be on Simpcast after this. So, um... You can go over there afterwards, maybe to say hi. And uh, tomorrow, I it'll be on Zia's channel, but we're going to be doing the double feature, Human Nature and the Family of Blood Doctor Who. Arguably two of the best Doctor Who episodes. Uh, and I like it, it just makes me sad because how many episodes do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more left with the companion. I actually am like really liking her. Yeah. I just Martha's the best. Wish Martha's there was more. Absolutely the best. And she, you'll see a little bit more of her in the future. Yeah, but um, I'm excited because we're also doing, of course, um, the other show. Why is the name escaping me right now? Uh, Torchwood. 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 And so we have to finish Torchwood after this, and then watch the rest of Doctor Who to bring it together. So it syncs up Very at some exciting. point. Yes. Just like women. All right, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a good joke. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> so uh, go over to Chrissy Mayer's channel afterwards to say hi. Oh, if you want. So yeah. Sure. If you want They're to stream it all day today. They uh, no. are. If you want to transition day. from like UFO paranormal talk to buttholes. Then to buttholes. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense. Which, Zorbu <laughs> kind of he bridges that gap, you know. Right? So the shrimp cast. We love Chrissy. <laughs> We love Chrissy and pregnancy talk. I'm sure she won't bring up her pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be back next week. I don't know what the subject is yet, but uh, I will put the David Hatcher children's lecture in our community section. Go uh, give it a look. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. He's a, he's a great lecturer. He has a very interesting cadence in the way he talks like this. He's, he's kind of like yeah. Thurston Howell the third. You know, he's got like a <laughs> Thurston the... Howell accent. Yes, you know? yeah. yes, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's better Look at than the Nazi Nazi saucers in, <laughs> in Antarctica. Uh, until next time, everyone. Thank you for the moderatics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You helped keep the lights on. We'll be back next Sunday at Bye. Daylight Savings Time. Don't forget to spring forward <sighs> next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you guys later. Nerdorotic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.